Yo, what's going on, everybody? You're watching Knicks Now by Chat Sports. I am your host, Marshall Green. And uh, I just want to apologize to everybody. I meant to schedule the show for 7.30 Eastern. I accidentally scheduled it for 7 o'clock Eastern time. We were ripping and running here at Chat Sports. It was only me and Seeps, and Roly was being Roly out in the studio, not helping anybody. So we get the F Rollies in the chat. But I'm man enough to admit when somebody messes up. And players, they F up all the time. And I, I messed up. I thought the show, or I scheduled the show to start at 7 p.m. Eastern time. I meant for it to be 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. It is what it is, and it is what it be. Uh, that's on me. But we're here, we're live, and we're ready to get it going on today's show as the New York Knicks are down in San Antonio playing, getting ready to play against the San Antonio Spurs and Victor Wimbenyama. Wimbenyama uh, has not been playing that much as of late. He did play in the last game against the San Antonio Spurs, but he is back. He's going to play against the Knicks tonight. So the front court of Mitchell Robinson, Isaiah Hartenstein, Precious Tachua, they will have their hands filled trying to slow down, in my opinion, the future face of the NBA. Shout out to everybody in the building. Um, I can't believe I messed that up. Seeps goes, hey, you know you scheduled the show for 7, right? And I was like, huh? <laughs> I scheduled it for 7.30. Stuff happens. Stuff happens. Um... But uh, we're here. We're live, and we're back at it like a crack addict. Let's go, baby. Shout out to everybody in the building. Um, yeah, we know. We're still late. Uh, we, we were doing some stuff behind the scenes to get you guys ready to go. Seeps had to go and make a, a happy dad run because he's starting today's show with a beer boot. Seeps, how do you feel? As Quentin Gilliam coming in with a $20 super chat says, let's effing go, Knicks. F Cleveland. F Rolly. F Indy. And... F, the Orlando, Orlando, Orlando Magic. Magic. Yes, sir. What up? Quentin Gilliam, we appreciate you, brother. Thank you for setting the tone. Thank you for bringing the energy. And then my guy, Mikey Black, coming in with a $5 super chat. Shout out to him. He says F Roly. Everybody give me an F Roly in the chat. He's right out there getting to ready to watch his Miami Heat play. Um, Seeps. Do you have an official statement on the real ones rallying around Jeffrey Cooperstein to make you not only uh, have to do a beer boot to start today's show, but ultimately make you a loser in the competition? You know, I'm not upset about it. I'm just uh, it encouraged me with the with Knicks with the Knicks fans that they can rally together and kind of in spite of me, but they can get the job done. Um, but I'm ready to go, man. It's Friday night. I get to start off with a free beer boot. I'm excited and. You know, Marsh said it before we got on here. Somebody sends in 100, he'll join me. I, I did say that. I would love to see Seeps have to come up here and do a beer boot by himself. But I already got it poured. He does have it poured. It's up here on my desk. If someone sends in a $100 super chat, I'll be a good friend, and I will do a beer boot race with Patrick Seatman to start today's show. So uh, we don't have to have him be up here all alone and drink by himself. No one likes to drink by themselves. So I'm drinking buddy. Uh, I'll be his drinking buddy for today if someone sends in a hundred dollar super chat. Before we get to the drinking and all the fun stuff on the pregame show, I gotta tell you guys about our proud sponsor, Prize Picks. Go to prizepicks.com slash C L N S and use that promo code C L N S and Prize Picks will match your first deposit up to one hundred dollars. It's the best daily fantasy sports app in the game. And Seeps looks like a little two-player, a little two-pot, two-spot lineup rolling yeah, in today's game. Yeah, keeping it simple tonight, uh, Deuce, six threes in the first quarter last game. If he does that again, his more is going to cash in quarter one. So I'm going to take more on Deuce's 16 and a half points. And then Wemby, I think he's going to have a big night. I'm excited to watch him play. Um, because if Wemby wasn't playing tonight, it definitely takes away a lot of juice from this game. But he's going to be out there, so I'm going to take his more on 20 and a half points. I've been kind of on a heater lately in prize picks. So if you guys want to fade my picks or ride with my picks, I'd suggest riding them. Do it at prize picks. On Thursday's game, my prize picks lineup hit. That was fun. We're hot. Um, support the show. Support the sponsor. We love having prize picks as a sponsor. It's Look, brutally honest, it's a major deal for us at Chat Sports, and it helps us grow and hire new people. And like when Seep doesn't want to produce, we're able to get Coop or we're able to get Cullen. So 
If you play daily fantasy sports, please do it with our proud sponsor and use that promo code CLNS. Joey DeLuca coming in with a dollar super chat. Joey, I got your uh, I got your IG message, brother. I got a thousand things on my plate right now. I will handle that once the month is over, my man. I got you. Trust me. I ain't going to forget about you. Just like you don't forget about the show, my man. Danny McGrath coming in with a $5 super chat. What up, Danny? He says, did Ali say hi? L-O-L. Let's go, Knicks. No, she did not. Um, she did tell me, though, that she stole my phone charger and left it in Studio D. So she did not tell me hello. Um, she only steals my equipment and does not return it. She's a nasty Celtics fan, and that's what Celtics fans do. They are from scummy Boston, and they love clam chata. So, uh, no, she didn't, Danny. Very, very upsetting. Very upsetting. As my man, Vontae Lyles. What's up, Vontae? He says, I was like number 50. That's because you're a real one, brother. Oh, that's because yeah. you are a real one. Danny McGrath says, well, that's terrible. Allie, she's awesome. She's awesome. But she did not tell me hello. I don't know if you told her to tell me hello. I don't know what the backstory here is, but I did not get a hello from Allie Barefoot today. Levi's the best in the building. What up, says Marsh? Do you think Bogey will start getting it together after last game? Uh, I hope so. He looked good. He, he was playing against one of the worst teams in the NBA. But Joey, yes, brother. I have gotten your message. I don't know if you are delayed. I don't know what else to tell you. But I told you on Wednesday I got your message. I told you on Thursday I got your message. I got your message, my man. I got you. <laughs> Danny McGrath says, yes, I did. Good. I'm glad they lost. F Boston. F Boston. What up, Poot? What up, Unlucky? What up, Tony? Spanish Moreno says, what's poppin', people? I'm in the city with my Knicks gear on. Holla at me. Love that. Shout out to Spanish. Tony says, I am drink. I ain't drinking yet. But I'm about to have a fun B-Day. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Everybody give me an HBD in the chat for my guy, Tony. Tony is the definition of a real one. That's my guy. There's a reason that Tony is a part of our Nick Sanal Ring of Honor here on the channel. Tony, happy birthday, brother. Good to see you, man. Hope all is well. Throw, one, throw, throw, a, throw a couple drinks back for the real one. My guys over at Big Nick Energy are in the building. What's up, bro? He said, Wemby's going to get shut down like he did the first game against Mitch and Iheart. 14 points on 14 shots. We were actually going to bring that up in the pregame show. Seeps, remember he got to Madison Square Garden? He said, yeah. it's not as big as I thought it was. What, what did you think it was? You thought you were playing at a football <laughs> stadium or something? The game was too big for him, though. Seeps, he did not look yeah. good. It was early in the season, but Wemby is literally almost – Dude, it's gotten been... twice as good as the season has gone on. He looked like a yeah. fish out of water to start the year. And I've said it, if you did a fantasy draft to restart the NBA, in my opinion, he would be pick one, round one. I don't need, I wouldn't take anybody above him to start a franchise. That's what's with. so scary about Wemby is, like, normally you see rookies hit a wall at, like, this time of year. You know, game catches up to him, like, just the fatigue of the NBA season. Wemby's gone the complete opposite direction. It's almost like once he's gotten more comfortable in the league, he has gotten so so much better. I think he's the best defensive player in the league already right now. I mean, I think he's going to win probably eight of the next ten depoys in the league. I mean, he's special, and I'm, I'm really excited to watch him play tonight. And against a terrible Spurs team, I thought the Knicks would be double-digit favorites. It's only nine and a half. I think that's just the one B effect. I do want to see Hartenstein and Robinson be physical with him. I thought they did a really good job last time pushing him off his spot. Didn't let him get any, in any easy buckets. Um, like, like my guys BKE said, um, 14 points on 14 shots. He, he really struggled. Uh, I think he's too good of a basketball player to um, struggle like that again unless, I mean, obviously he can just a game, but I, I just believe in the player. I do. I, I think he is, he is going to be a multi-time MVP, probably a multi-time champion finals MVP. He is uh, he's special. And Brock's hey. boy. The Bronx boys in the building. So I'm going to do it right now. I saw Cha in the building as well. What's up, Mr. Cha? Mr. Rick, how you doing? I'm going to make you guys a deal. We got some boot stickers that we're kind of unveiling here. Next Super Chat, it could even be a dollar. You'll be the first one to join Seeps' boot, and we'll write your initials so on it. what we're doing here on today's show is we wanted – we started to do the boots more and more, so that's kind of why we were late as well outside of me um, – uh, Scheduling the show for the wrong time. 
if you – so, see, I have a boot. Mine is empty because I'm not doing a beer boot to start today's show. Seeps is doing a beer boot to start his show, though, or Happy Dad boot, whatever you want to call it. Um, I said if we get a $100 Super Chat, I would match Seeps and do his boot, but uh, I'm also kind of cool with just watching him do it and drink through the pain. Um, there's that Johnson U coming in with a dollar Super Chat. He'll be the first person on Patrick Seatman's boot. To get on my boot, though, Seeps can have his own rules, King of the Castle, King of the Castle. To get on my boot, I'll write your initials on every st on a sticker. You got to make me do a boot. So Johnson U's on there for him. Shout out to him. To get on my boot, you got to make me do a boot. So if someone sends an honor to match Seeps, I'll, I'll do the beer boot. We'll do two minutes on that. Seeps looks like he's just letting anybody on his boot to get creative. But high expectations all over here for the big dogs. For the big dogs. Castro, what up, man? Cha says, Mr. Patrick Seaman, off topic, off topic, but are the Vikings really going to give up three first-rounders to move up? That's crazy, man. Uh, I think they are. I think they are. Are they? Oh, my goodness. This one's rolling in from Danny McGrath. Bang! Bang! My guy D Murda in the building. Do, do, do. Everybody give me a DM in the chat. D Murda, the first, the first going on the New York Knicks. Marshall Green. I'm going to go right here up top, D Murda. The penmanship here is going to be electric. Fuck, I messed that M up. <laughs> Shout out to my guy, D Murda. First one on the boot. That's a legend right there. I'm going to go fill me up. Let's get some lemon lime in there. If I'm go I need the lemon lime happy dads today. Get my electrolytes. Kind of reminds me of some yellow Gatorade. I'm in on that. Dante DiVincenzo's getting that record tonight. The Knicks taking out one French and destroying the record of another Frenchman. What is, is he like two? Uh, I don't remember the exact number of how many threes Dante DiVincenzo is away. Um, I don't think it's that many. It was like two or three or four, something like that. Um, two to tie, three to break. So Dante DiVincenzo, two made threes tonight, and he will tie the all-time amount of threes made in a season by a Nick. Evan Fournier holds that slot. If he makes three. He will be the new captain. Uh, Nick's, <laughs> the Knicks are the French killers. I'm dead. Danny says, I'm too early for this. How are you early, Danny? You're not early. The show started. We're 17 minutes away from tip-off. We're always wondering where you are in the pregame. We need the D-murder juice early. Tony says, Seeps, give me a number Double zero to 36 for the B-Day roulette. Marsh called 10 last. If y'all win, when Seeps comes back, I don't know where he went. I will ask him. We talking about the... <laughs> You're ridiculous. You're ridiculous. Um, Tony, once Seeps gets back in the studio, uh, I, will, I will have him give me a number. So, uh, Tony, he says... Um, Give me a number, double zero through 36 for the B-Day roulette spin. Marsh called 10 last show. Um, he said, if y'all win, he's going to donate the winning. So z double zero to 36 for the roulette spin. What number are you rolling with? 33. 33, little Patrick Chewing? Little Patrick Chewing? 33, Tony. 33 for Seeps. Oh, wow. Danny McGrath is in the building. He's letting it fly in pregame. We got a three-point goal. Danny McGrath. Bang! Bang! D. Murda, he came pregame with the full clip, and it's do, do, do. D. Murda showing love. Everybody give me a DM in the chat. There's a reason that Danny McGrath has been named the bang god here at Chat Sports and Knicks now for the months of February and March. He's been showing major love. Shout out to D Murda. Um, I'm going with another DM. Anytime someone's going to make us. Well, technically, we're not doing. We already are doing a boot. We're already doing one. F it. Uh, Johnson U says first name on Marsh Boot. Danny McGrath beat you, brother. He beat you, brother. Shout out to him. Lemon lime. 
Peter Wynn coming in with a super chat. Shout out to you. We'll get all those on screen. Walter Lada, Eric Drump, Bronx Boy, everybody coming in with super chats. Once we chug these boots, we're, uh, we're going to get those up on. $20 bet on 20 on t <laughs> Tony. Tony, do it, for, do it for Big Ten or do it for 33. Let's ride, let's ride. Cheers. Danny McGrath, everybody that made Seeps do this from last stream, you guys are electric. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. It's Friday night, Knicks. It's Friday night, Knicks. Let's get a win. Let's get a win. This is... Uh, oh, Sorry about that. Oh, sorry about that. The Bronx boy is leaving. It's a joke. It's a joke, Bronx boy. I, I already see a problem coming on with these stickers. They're starting to slip and slide. It was such a good idea in our head. Um, I don't know if it's going to work. Yeah, the stickers, because uh, when I was filling it up, might be tough. Oh, my God, dude, that hurt. Shout out to you guys. Though. Shout out to the lemon line. Shout out to the lemon line. I can't do the grape, man. That shit is gross. Is I can't do pineapple. Pineapple is not, no. It's, it's grape and a sneaky one for me is I'm going to say fruit punch. I feel yeah. like that's one that doesn't get a lot of love here at the office, but yeah. the Nelk boys, the Happy Dad boys, they, they did their thing on that fruit punch piece. They did a good job, no doubt. Oh, my stomach's in shambles. The Bronx boy wow. says, if I win the autographed pick, please, send it to Danny McGrath, although I'll probably come <laughs> and say. Yeah, I guarantee you. Bronx that Boy is the king of second place for our raffle we're items, We're going to spin the wheel, and he he's really going to have a name right there. Reminder, the month is coming to a close. If you send in a $10 Super Chat, you get entered You get entered into our raffle to win this signed. Well, oh, it's almost slipping out. Ah. Our signed Walt Clyde Frazier photo. Every $10 you send in this month will get you a ticket to potentially um, win this. I was going to put it in a frame, but I think what I'm going to do is just send you guys it, send you guys that in that clear sleeve, and, and then it's kind of just going to be on y'all to get the frame, just because the last time we sent something in a frame, uh, it broke, and that was a whole disaster with someone on Giants now, so... I was going to get a frame, but whoever wins it, um, it's just going to be on y'all to get a frame. If, if you need me to buy it, I will. Just We'll, we'll talk about it. If I don't want to buy the frame and send it, and then it gets broken. Um, I'm probably sweating after that boot. Yeah, I know. Um, so, yeah. So, whoever wins that, it's going to be sent in that, that, that sleeve. Big Nick Energy, what alcohol? Happy Dad, bro. You on the Happy Dad wave or no? Happy Dads is what we rock with here on this channel. Joey, J Tony, Edward, Hell Levi's the best. My guy Eric Drump coming in with a $20 super chat. We appreciate it, man. He says, let's go, Knicks. Get this dub. Knicks. <laughs> you dog. Can we say that? Uh, Knicks are greater than the yeah. Spermies. At the game, stuck in the queue, representing for the real ones. Let's effing go, Knicks. Still F. Rolly. At the game. I know you're in San Antonio. I don't want to tell people your whereabouts. You're at the game, brother. Have fun. Enjoy it. Um, Go watch Wemby in person. If you see Josh Hart, tell him to get more threes up on his off days. Yeah. Get some more threes up on his off days. Danny McGrath says, I'll be back. Danny McGrath, you come in, you blow up the whole party, and then you leave. You are a party animal, brother. You're a party animal. CPJ says, I got no power, so I can't watch the game. You didn't pay the bill. You didn't pay the bill. Jeez. Come on, dog. Greeny from Long Island says, it's still F-Gobel. 
It will always, F. Goble. always, always, always be F. Goble. It'll always be F. Goble. Danny's laughing at me, of course. Love that. Love that, Danny. Eric Trump, we love you, brother. Thanks for always showing love, man. Always. Walter Lada! That's my guy right there. Thank you for supporting the channel, man. When the Knicks get healthy, they will be the gods of the NBA. I can't wait for our post game show. Yeah. Um, I've got, I've got, a, I've got a pretty, pretty. I'm just excited for you guys. Post game show today. Post game show is going to be a lot of fun. Walter, we'll talk about what the Knicks could be after today's game. Peter, win with a twenty dollars super chat. What up, man? Says hello, Marshall Seeps, and all the real ones. Shout out to my guy, Peter Win. He's a legend. Peter Wynn, love you, brother. He's coming around. Peter Wynn, he was like an MVP last year, and now he's coming back for the playoffs, and he's ready to go on an MVP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Peter Wynn, um, every time I see his name, I get reminded of the Super Chat battles versus the Raiders and then the playoff games against yes, the Cats. Dude. Yes, Peter Wynn never let us lose to the Raiders report. His game, it doesn't stay the same from going regular season to the postseason, his game elevates. And that's what you look at. That's what we look at in prospects here. It's like Jalen Brunson. We want players that elevate their game in the playoffs compared to people that stay the same. You got you got to elevate. If you're not an elevator. Because he already had his MVP season last year. He did. He's just trying to get that ring now. He doesn't, <laughs> like, he's all in on the postseason, the home stretch. He'll be here. I know he will be. Peter, we love you. Appreciate you always showing love, man. My guy Frankie in the building, rocking his real one shirt and his profile picture. Frankie Raphael, what's up, my man? He says, let's get this dub. Let's go, Knicks. Appreciate it, Frankie. Frankie, always showing love in the chat, being active, being a real one. I mean, he's literally wearing the real one t-shirt in the YouTube profile picture. I don't think it's any more real than that. Can you be more of a real one? I don't think so. Let's go, let's go. We're still about 10 minutes away from tip-off. My man CPJ giving a standing applause for all the real ones. Johnson, you puts an eye emoji in the chat. Uh-oh. What is he about? There's what you. is he about? Then Eric Drumpf coming back in. My man Eric Drumpf, he's at the game, and he's still in the chat. Says, yup, here to watch Wimby get whooped by the Knicks. Hart's getting a triple-double. Let's go, Knicks. Um, Shout out to Eric Trump. Eric F. <laughs> Trump, dude. Yeah. Someone needs to just let Wimby know he's playing the Knicks today. Yeah. It's bully ball. That's what we're about. The dude's 19. Not good. Nice. He's 19. When you like say that what out loud. You, like, what were you doing at 19? <laughs> at 19, what was I doing? Um, I was going to community college. Community college. Definitely wasn't the number one overall pick in the NBA that's expected to be the best player of all time. CPJs, it's funny how I started the eyes when something is about to happen. If you know, you know. Johnson U has, like, diminished that, though. Um, what do you think? You were good? Yeah, yeah. That's hilarious. Nothing, nothing we can do. Johnson U just likes dropping the eye emojis. When eye emojis came from CPJ, he meant business. Yeah. All ten toes down, standing on it. Standing on it. Johnson U... <laughs> we know what I don't. I don't love how Ju's not active in the IG chat. Oh yeah, he's cool. always just reading the messages. It's just me and CPJ going <laughs> back and forth. Johnson used like that that fine girl you're trying to get with. She just reads it and closes it. No response. <laughs> no nothing from Ju. He's too busy. He's he's too busy. He's too busy flying from city to city. Uh, he's probably in San Antonio right now. Um. 
I freaking love Johnson you, man. He cracks me up. <laughs> Eric Trump, we love you, man. Thank you for supporting this channel. As PG Percival Glasgow coming in with a $5 super chat. He says, Knicks go against the Bulls three times. What do you think our win record will be? I think we went two out of three. That's my that's my expectation. Win two out of three against the Chicago Bulls. Yeah, I probably got the Bulls taking all three. Tough matchup for the Knicks. I mean, you got Caruso, DeSumo, you can deploy on Brunson. I mean, eventually the Angels in the outfield aren't going to continue to be on Deuce McBride's shoulders. So. I mean, you look at a guy like Caruso, he's done such a good job in his career guarding Brunson. He had one bad, the floor was slippery one time, man. Oh, that's funny. DeMar DeRozan is probably the best player on the floor in that game. Oh, sure, sure, sure. You know, Nikola Vucevic. Remember you used to think that? Huh. Like 16 months ago that DeRozan was, we don't have to go there. That was like 24 months ago. Oh, no, it was was not. He was already on the team. Brunson was on the team. Hey, it's all about updating opinions, man. Uh, Hey. You get get new information. New information, new opinions. I like that. I like that. As Rich Rob is in the building. What's up to the double R? What up, Rich? What <laughs> up, Rich? What up, Rich? Um, yeah, it's not going to be good looks for your Bulls, man. It's not no. going to be good looks for your Bulls. I am worried that the Knicks, three games in about a week and a half, three out of your final six games are against the Bulls, and they're are they locked into their playing spot? Can they move up? They most lo- – they can't move up, but the Hawks are right on their heels, so it's like... Yeah, they just beat the Celtics twice. Four-game win streak. Um, yeah, Bulls are, Bulls are locked in for the 9 or 10 seed, though. As Big Nick Energy? Yeah, great point. Um, <laughs> Ke- Keon Ellis and Alex Caruso both... That man defense. pointed at Keon Ellis, huh? He went, that was crazy. That was a great move. It's crazy, because the first time Brunson pointed, he noticed he like looked and was seeing if Hartenstein was coming yeah. for the screen. He looked one way, Brunson went right by him. I yeah. love that Keon Ellis guy, though. I do, um, too. We were watching did, the Kings game at the crib a couple of days ago, and we were like... He gets the Lakers. Where did he come from? He's been great for them. He has. Especially with Herder now out for the year. I like that, but... The original double R. That's, hey, that's, that's facts. Hey, Bulls, Bulls got some physical guards, man. I don't, I don't know if it's... Is benefit- the first play of Jalen Brunson's Hall of Fame mixtape when he dropped Alex Caruso for the game? I mean, when he dropped the best wing defender in the league yeah i've actually i saw a stat yesterday i didn't want to tell you about per 75 possessions alex caruso leads guards amongst deflections <laughs> still can't guard man. jv though deflections and rushing yards over expected those are the two stats remember when rj need. barrett averaged less than a deflection per Bro, game that's six foot nine i'm telling you like and whatever we're not gonna talk about him or I'll, I'll be called a hater and not care about his family Tony, what's up, man? Tony. Enjoy your birthday. Have fun. Um, don't go, don't go too crazy. Don't yeah. go too crazy, Tony. Tony, Tone. What's up, Mark K? Says, hey, fellas, how about them Yankees yesterday? Yankees look good. Yeah. Yankees look good. Soto, uh, Soto looked like Soto, man. If you can get back Eric Cole, I really do think that the Yankees can make a run. Oh, fellas, I think I drilled the countdown, the tip-off tonight. Are you right on the money here? I think I'm going to be perfect. Starting lineup for the Spurs, Trey Jones, Devin Vassell, Victor Wembenyama, Jeremy Sohan. I didn't see the last guy. It know. just went too um, fast. It went too fast. And Tony and Clyde party. <laughs> Julian Champagne and Trey Jones. Champagne? Champagne. My, uh, Joe, you've met Joe before. My good yeah. friend Joe. Um, he is a Spurs fan and has been for a long time. He told me he went to a game last year and he saw Champagne just drop like six threes. I swore I thought this guy was going to be the next really? big, next big. Oh, thing. I was a minute off. That would have been perfect if I had it at seven eleven. As the Spurs will be wearing their whole their away blacks and the Knicks Ooh. will be wearing their home whites. We are in San Antonio at the Frost Bank Center and we are underway. San Antonio will control the tip. And you got Deuce McBride pressuring Vassell up top. Champagne, he'll now control. Gets a screen from Wemby. Throws it into the corner, and that'll be a three to get San Antonio on the board here early. San Antonio jumps out to a 3-0-0. Lead and Josh Hart throws it in to Dante DiVincenzo. A horrible pass, and it's a turnover. 
Um, I don't love the first two possession for the Knicks here. No, I don't love that. You saw San Antonio picking the Knicks up 90 feet from the basket. And Josh Hart, an unforced turnover right there. Vassell up top, guarded by Deuce. He'll get downhill, trying to drive on him. Now kicks it out to Wemby. Wemby, top of the key, jumper, good. You know Wimbenyama after struggling in his debut, or struggling against the Knicks in the first game of his uh, first game against the Knicks in his career. Uh, he was going to come out ready to be better today, and he starts out one on one from the field. DiVincenzo and Hartenstein, they play catch. DiVincenzo turns the corner, and they're going to call an offensive foul, a moving screen on Hartenstein. Not a great way to start this ball game for the Knicks. I mean, two turnovers, and you give up two wide open jumpers. Not ideal. As Wembenyama, he'll control up top. He'll drive to the left, hands it off to Vassell. He'll get to the foul line off the right, and he'll knock it in. 7 nothing lead for San Antonio. I feel a Tom Thibodeau timeout coming here pretty soon. Yeah. As Brunson, it feels like, will touch the ball for the first time today. He'll walk it up, so hand guarding him. He'll get it to Hart off that left side. He'll now dribble to the top of the key. He'll find Hartenstein, who hands it off to Brunson. Brunson's going to get downhill. He'll pull up wide open 16-footer, and he missed it. A little bit too strong. Rebound by San Antonio. Wimbenyama, he'll have it at the top. He puts it on the deck. He drives by Hartenstein, drops it off to Champagne. He'll throw it outside to Sohan. Sohan back to Wimby. He'll operate from the stripe. He'll face up Hartenstein. They're going to call a travel. Going to call a travel. Go. We got 421 people watching, if you could, Please hit that thumbs up icon for me. Hit that thumbs up icon for me. Only 113 likes. These are rookie numbers. Hit those likes up. Brunson will handle. Gets the screen. Trying to get downhill on Champagne. He'll go all the way and kiss it off the glass. Jalen Brunson with a strong take and a soft touch off the left hand. San Antonio getting in their offense quickly. Vassell and Wemby playing a little bit of a two-man game. Wemby will pull up for three. That's off the back iron. No good. Josh Hart will haul in the board, and he'll look to push. And then he'll find Brunson. He'll actually kick it to Hartenstein. It was good defense there by Sohan to deny that pass. Hartenstein up top. He'll put it on the deck. He goes into Wimby. He makes him fall. Aww. And they're going to call a charge on Hartenstein. Wimbenyama flops, and he gets rewarded with the whistle. Oh, what a pussy. Oh, my God. You can't be that big and be that big of a pussy. That's some soft-ass shit from Wemby, man. I like Hardenstein trying to go in there physically, um, but if they're going to call a game like that, he's got to adjust. And I believe that's two early fouls for Hardenstein, and he'll sit down with 9.34 left in the first. Mitchell Robinson will check in. Nick's down by five here. It was a quick start here for San Antonio. Wemby guarded by Mitch. That two-man game with Vassell. He'll get right to that elbow again. He'll miss the jumper this time as Robinson will secure the defensive board. And he'll fall to the ground. Hopefully he gets up and he's all right. Brunson will bring it up. Gets a screen from Mitch. Turns the corner. Gets it to a cutting Hart. Hart kicks it out to an open Chenzo for three. Good! Good ball movement by the Knicks. And great shot making by DiVincenzo. He's 1-3 away from tying the, mo tying the record of Evan Fournier for most threes made in a season. Champagne on the other end answers quickly with the three of his own. And we got some NBA action here. Brunson will bring it up. Sohan guarding him. He'll hand it off to DiVincenzo who gets a screen from Robinson. He'll turn the corner. Kicks it out to Deuce. Deuce guarded. Drives. Kicks to Brunson in the corner. He'll launch. No good. Brunson off the mark on two early jumpers for him. San Antonio pushing. That's going to be a corner three for Jones. Good. Knicks are just kind of walking. Yeah, this looks like a game the Knicks thought that they didn't have to try in, and the effort has been very, very questionable so far on the defensive end. They weren't locked in from the start, and it starts on the first possession of the offense when Josh Hart throws it out of bounds, and then Hartenstein comes in with a moving screen, and then he gets called. Moving screen foul on Hartenstein, then a charge on Hartenstein, a Josh Hart turnover. Brunson misses two open jumpers, and you look up and you're down eight. You're down eight. Um, they got to lock it in. They got to lock it in. The Spurs team, 
I know they're one of the worst teams in the league, but they battle, and it's always going to be a big impact when Wimby's on the floor. Make sure everybody is hooked up with our proud sponsor, Prize Picks, the number one daily fantasy sports app in the game. It's prizepicks.com slash CLNS, promo code CLNS. This is the lineup that the Knicks now boys are rolling with. We were with more points for Victor Wembenyama. Thought he was going to have a good game after he struggled against the Knicks early this season. And we're going to ride with Deuce because it has continued to be loose. We're going to go with the more on his points at 16 and a half. You can roll with our picks, our fade, our picks. But I kindly ask if you're going to play daily fantasy sports, you do it with our proud sponsor, Price Picks. And use that promo code CLNS. It'll match your first deposit up to $100. I am Jules is in the building. What's up, big dog? What up, Jules? I am Jules. That's my, that's my guy right there. What's up, I am guy. Jules? What up, man? Will says trap game, but calm down. We're not even five minutes in. If I need to calm down here, you've never seen me riled up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about as calm as I could be uh, right now. I mean, the Knicks just came out a little flat. I mean, just call it like it is. I mean, Josh Hart on that last transition three, he was kind of walking back to the lane, didn't really give a good closeout. Huh? But, I mean, hey, the Spurs got some good players. Like, even though they're having a bad year, but I think that was just due to, you know, growing pains with them. But, I mean, if they're knocking down shots, they're a good team. Marsh is Wimby playing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We got 500 people watching, if y'all could. Please hit that thumbs up icon. If you have liked the video, give me a real one down in the comment section. Let's get up to 200 likes at, at minimum. I'm 500 watching. We should be at 500 likes, but um, ridiculous. Danny McGrath says, just wait. The Knicks need this. I don't know what that means, but it's provocative. And it gets the means. people going. D Murda already coming out and being an MVP awesome. in today's show. Shout out to D Murda. I am Jules, of course, like the video. Up to 163 likes. Can we get to 200? Are there 37 people that have not liked the video? Let's go. Um, please, please. Here we go. Back to hoops. Robinson, he'll dribble hand off to Hart. Hart's now going to drive, hands it off to DiVincenzo. Ten on the shot clock. He'll rip through, gets into the lane, floater high off the glass and in. Nice take there by Dante. His evolution as a rim attacker this year in his career has really elevated his game. He's got a lightning quick first step, and he got to close out on him so hard on those three-point shots he can get downhill. Spurs moving it around. That three's no good. Rebound hauled in by Hart. He'll look to push. Josh gets into the lane. He'll kick it out now to Deuce. Deuce gets a screen from Mitch. He'll turn the corner. Gets to the dotted line. His floater up and in. Deuce McBride continues to be an offensive force for this Knicks ball club. As San Antonio is going to play with some pace here. Jones and Wemby a little two-man game. Wemby's guarded by Mitch. He'll find Jones. And then Jones throws it inside to Wemby. It's going to be deflected by Robinson. I believe, yep, Robinson being physical with Wemby. I like that. Able to get in the passing lanes to force them to now throw it in on the baseline with 13 on the shot clock. Jones will be the one looking to get it in. He finds the cell. He'll pull up from the baseline. His contested Jay, no good. Ball bounces off of Brunson's hands, goes right to Wemby, who launches from 30. No good. Rebound by Hart. He'll look to push. Josh has that running back mode. He'll go all the way and smoke the layup. Josh Hart just smoked a layup. And then Trey Jones throws it up to Sohan, and he throws it down on the other end. The Knicks are not getting back in transition right now. No, they um, this is terrible effort on the defensive end from them. Brunson will bring it up. Guarded by Sohan, who just threw it down. He beats him off the dribble, gets in the paint. His floater, no good. Robinson battling. Ball's being tipped. Him and Wimby will go after it. And Wimby will haul it in. Brunson has missed three early shots. As the Spurs out in transition again. And Devin Vassell knocks down a three. And the Knicks are down by nine. Once again, not getting back in transition. And Josh Hart almost throws it away. It goes right to DiVincenzo, who finds an open Brunson, who misses a three. Is this going to be one of those games where Brunson can't make a fucking shot? And it's where Josh Hart doesn't decide to play basketball until the third quarter. I mean, look at this by Wemby, though. He grabs the rebound, fighting with Mitch Robb. Pushes it up. Like, right here, you can already see... Steven Chenzo kind of jogging in transition. And now Wimby's going to go to the bench and he's grabbing at his ankle. Or his knee or his leg. He's in his knee. He looks to be in pain. Let's hope he's all right, man. No one wants to see that. 
That kid's got the most potential of anybody in this league. Let's hope he's okay. Vassell guarded by Deuce. Deuce playing great defense. That's what we need. Now Trey Jones gets a screen, and Brunson will draw the offensive foul. He's one of the best in the business at that. Wemby is just rapidly rubbing his knee. I don't know what he's doing there. A little stinger? Maybe a little knee-to-knee -knee contact? I can see them just not even taking a risk, and he doesn't play. Yeah, why? Why? Brunson will have it on the left wing. Gets a screen from Robinson. He can get to the rim if he wants to. Gets right into the paint, and he gets one to go. As now Wimpy will skip his way to the locker room. That sucks. I wanted to watch him play today. Collins, backdoor pass to Vassell, and he'll go up with it. And he'll lay it up. And Another player the Knicks didn't get an up close and personal look at was Vassell. They played the Spurs. He's a good young player. I think he's a great two-way guy. Yeah. Going to be in this league for a long time. He was hurt the last time the Knicks played. He's looking already to be aggressive. Brunson guarded by Champagne here. Uses the Robinson screen. Gets into the lane. Goes to that floater again and gets it to go. Hopefully he can get on track after knocking down those two floaters. That's just surgical out of Brunson the last two possessions. Lee just like walked into the lane. Had him on his hip. Easy floater. One thing, and this is very nitpicky of me. Um, oh. What happened? I think he just banged knees with Champagne. Yeah. Hopefully he's all right. But One thing that used to really upset me, Steve, about Mitchell Robinson was the lack of contact he would create on his screens. Yeah. And a guy at that size and has that type of frame, he should be setting great screens. And I feel like on those last two possessions he did, he allowed Brunson a great space from the, separation, uh, from the defender, create that separation, then eat up the cushion of the drop coverage and get right to his spot with the defender on his back hip the entire time. I think it's crazy how comfortable Brunson is with literally a 6'8 dude just right on his shoulder, and he's just walking him down to the lane. It just seems like he's in no rush. Like, that's why I feel like Brunson does go underrated with, like, casual NBA fans because, like, a move like that, 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 that doesn't look like he's doing anything crazy. He's just walking in the lane, getting him on his hip, getting to his floater. And, like, a guy like, you know, Donovan Mitchell, Tyrese Halliburton, like a Kyrie, like, they get their buckets in more – I don't know, flashy ways, and just Brunson just being so You can just say it. They, they dunk and he doesn't. Yeah, they dunk, he doesn't, Mike. <laughs> but even, like, even when they're getting to the rim, like, Brunson just so much more methodical, like, but then he can also turn it on and flip his hips like none other in the league. Um, yeah, he misses those three shots. It's crazy. His misses are always just so close. Like, and, and he'll get into that mode where he's just an inch off, it feels like. Uh, good to see him snap out of it. Haven't seen him complain pieces. tonight. Haven't seen him complain for a foul, no, which I no like. No, not complaining yet. There is that. There is that. 582 people watching. If you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. We're 379 subs away from 37,000. That is an amazing accomplishment. And a credit to all the faithful viewers we have. Um, we're lucky to be able to do this every single game. And the only reason we are is because the love and support that you guys show. So if you're one of the 600 people watching and you're not subscribed, please do it. Hit that subscribe button. It means a lot. It makes us look good to our bosses and we're able to do more content. The rules here at Chat Sports, more subs equals more videos. So if you're looking for free, informative, entertaining updates every day on the Knicks and the number one live coverage of Knicks games on YouTube, this is the place you want to be. Sub for Nick Stubbs. If you are subscribed, give me an LGK in the chat. 4K Anthony in the building. What's up, man? What up, 4K? Kid Lamar says sub for Dubs. Yes, sir. Johnson, you said I don't want to sub. Crazy. Crazy <laughs> work. Joey DeLuca says let's do it. Shout out to Greg Williams. 4K. Charlie C. Anthony D. Nick Curtin. Danny McGrath. JB. Joey DeLuca. Shout out to y'all. Back to hoops here. Five minutes to go. Knicks down by seven. And we just see Walt Clyde Frazier. Is it, his, is it his birthday? He's just staring at a cake. Now we get back to action. Vassell will drive. He'll pull up. Good D by Deuce. And then Mitchell Robinson beats Collins to the board. You see his ability right there. Just to dominate the glass. As Brunson drives, throws hey. it up, and Robinson throws it down. Seems we talked about in the offseason. That needs to be a more go-to option for them. And just the second game back, he throws it up, and the big fellow goes and gets it. Because right there, Brunson is either a floater or a lob. 
he did the floater the last two possessions. Now we threw the lob. As Josh Harkett's beats on a backdoor cut, San Antonio popping it around. Vassell will miss the corner three. Another rebound by Robinson. He'll get it to Hart. Hart to Devo. Devo for three. Good! Dante DiVincenzo's been on fire the last couple of games. And he's already got his second three of the ball game. Sohan's going to push it up. He'll fall to the ground. Devo jumps on top of it, and it's going to be a jump ball. Now you're seeing the Knicks play with that intensity and the reason we love this team. Let's go. Johnson, you says, yeah, I told you it's Clyde's B-Day. You also told me it was your birthday. <laughs> it is Clyde's birthday, though. Shout out to the GOAT. Shout out to the GOAT. I'm, I'm, I've said this a thousand times, Seeps. I just want, and, and, and look, it happened already in game two when he's back. I would lock Robinson and Brunson in a film room and have them watch Clint Capella and James Harden yeah. pick and roll, pick and roll, pick and roll. As that is going to be a nice drive and lay it up and in for Johnson. Kelton Johnson gets to the hoop and finishes with the left. As Precious Achua has subbed in here for the Knicks, it'll be Josh Hart. Getting a rest as we got 345 left to go in the first. Brunson again a screen from Robinson. Gets it in the paint. He's fouled and won! Jalen Brunson had Wesley on his back hip and he just pulled a veteran move. He stopped. He rose. He took the contact and he got the floater to fall. Knicks with a chance to cut it to one if Brunson can convert like, the three point play. Like there's nothing special about that move, what he's doing. Like he's not like having crazy handles to create separation. Like it's not his athleticism. It's just. I mean, he's a, he's a chess player on the basketball floor. As Brunson gets the free throw to go, Knicks cut the lead to one. 4K Anthony says, Marsh, I don't have Brunson on MVP top 10. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. That, that's a joke. Collins up top. He'll hand it off to Vassell. He'll turn the corner. Attacks Robinson. Good contest. Force him to kick. Kelton Johnson, corner three. Good. 25 points allowed by the Knicks with 3.20 to go. You know Tibbs is not happy. DiVincenzo will walk it up. He'll get it to Brunson on the right wing. Gets a screen from Robinson. Turns the corner. Goes right back to the lob. And Robinson throws it down. The two-man game is working. The big fella and Brunson are cooking. Let's go. I mean, they, I mean, they can't stop it. No. As Brunson's going to be called for a foul on Wesley on the other end. If Brunson gets called for a foul on that, you got to give him that foul on the other end. He gets it every time. He gets fouled like that every time. Rip through, a couple dribbles, either take the float or lob it up. I mean, it's, it's so simple, but it's so beautiful. Maybe they have been watching Harden and Clint. That's what I would do. Every day, you need to watch one hour of you both in the same film room watch when Harden and Clint Capella went through their pick and roll. They were the best in the business at it yeah. I had ever seen. Um, and there's no reason Brunson can't be just as good of a passer and Robinson can be just as good of a finisher on those lobs. That's what I would do. Good little run right here from Mitch Robin. Seven minutes, him giving you four points, four boards. Had a deflection. Yeah. As he'll go and take a seat. Five minutes of action probably. No, more like seven. Would you say seven? Yeah, 635. As Hartenstein will sub back in with 259 to go. He's already got two fouls, so he's got to be, he's got to be careful there. DiVincenzo in the game. It's So Brunson subs out. Bogdanovich subs in. DiVincenzo, Hartenstein, Bogey, McBride, and Precious. Hartenstein has it the foul line. He'll go at Collins. Left-hand hook shot, no good. Rebound by San Antonio. Is that Chetty Osman bringing it up the right side? He'll get it to Collins, top of the key. He'll pick his dribble up and now find Kelton Johnson. He'll drive on a two. A good defense there. Good defense, but a better finish by Johnson. Chu was there the whole time, but great strong finish by Kelvin. He's already got seven points on three of three from the deck. Yes. As Victor Wimanyama will return to the Spurs bench. McBride off the screen for three. No good. Ball's tapped out. Long rebound recovered by San Antonio. And then Chetty Osman just beats Boyan Bogdanovich down the floor. Come on, Bogey. Come Effort. on, Bogey. Effort's not there for the Knicks. Yeah, their effort has been terrible. I mean, you're giving up 31 points to the Spurs in the first quarter with two minutes to go. And it's not even like this. I mean, the Spurs just get an easy look.
Don't love that. What's up, Evan? What up, kid Lamar? Johnson, you says we need to tighten up threes. Fat, yeah. Mike, what up, man? Yeah, Mitch looks good. Mitch does look good. Is Dante Devin? I think he's one away. Has he already made three threes tonight, Divincenzo? Yeah, I think he's one away. I think he's one, he's one away. He's tied it, though. He's one away. He's one away. He is tied, though. He has tied Evan Fournier for the most threes made in the season by a Nick. What's up, Monkey Juice? Time in the Buckeye. What up, man? Randall Neptune. Yeah, just an easy play. Like, easy is the wrong word. It's, an, it, it's a way that they can get easy points. And you saw him go to it two times in that first quarter. Bogdanovich will throw it into Hartenstein. Made him go up and get it. And then back to DiVincenzo. Chenzo off the screen. Puts it on the deck. Step back triple. No good. Rebound by Kelton Johnson. He's going to bring it up quickly. Throws it cross court to Vassell. Vassell jump stop into the paint. Out to Johnson. Johnson for three. Good. He's four of four from the deck. And the Spurs have 34 points with still 90 seconds to go in this first quarter. The attention to detail, the defensive effort, and just the want to right now is not looking good for the Knicks. As Deuce McBride, a little give and go with iHeart, and then he throws it out to DiVincenzo. Back to Bogey. Bogey, in and out dribble. Gets into the paint. Has it on the baseline. He turns it over. That dude stinks, man. And it's a fast break dunk for Wesley. Man, after Boyan Bogdanovich has a good game against the sorry-ass Raptors, he comes out and shows you why he should not be a part of the playoff rotation. He can't defend. He's a liability with the ball in his hands. All he can do is shoot, and he hasn't done that well. DiVincenzo launches a three. No good. Here comes San Antonio. They're looking to get 40 in the first quarter. Vassell, guarded by McBride, and then throws it back out to Osmond. Pen on the shot clock. Osmond hands it off to Johnson. Johnson uses the screen from Collins. In and out dribble. Back out to Vassell. Five on the clock. He'll drive right by McBride, kicks it out to Osman. Osman, right wing three, no good. Rebound by DiVincenzo, who throws it up to Ihart, who throws it down in transition with 27 seconds to go. If the Knicks get a stop, about three seconds left to get a good look on the other end. Johnson at the mid-court line. He'll be guarded by Achua, and he'll take this time down. Crossover, drive on Achua. Scoop lay. No good, and they called a foul. Johnson's going to the line for two. The Knicks are in a spot where they may give up 38 points to the Spurs in the first fucking quarter. Eric Trump, what up, man? Says, check your DMs. Still cheer no matter what. Way ahead of the broadcast. Subscribe me out. Let's <laughs> F and go, Knicks. F Rolly. I will check it right now, brother man. Love it, ED. He knocks down the first. That's love. As the first free throw was good. There's 8.8 .8 seconds left in the quarter. So the Knicks will have um, plenty of time to get a good look here. But man, this defense has been terrible. And you saw from Jump Street. Second free throw is good. Knicks are down 13 in the first quarter. This also, quarter. I mean, one of you only played half the quarter. Brunson will throw it in. He finds Bogey. Bogey hands it off to Brunson. He'll bring it up. He has plenty of time. Gets into the lane. He's bumped. And they're going to say he's not going to get the continuation. When is he going to get refed like a superstar? San Antonio had a foul to give, so the Knicks will have it in the front court with 5.2 off the inbounds. Even Chenzo will be the one throwing it in. Chenzo looking to get it in. He finds Brunson. Brunson fake handoff. He'll go one-on-one -on -one versus Wesley. 
Three, two, one. Gets an easy look and gets it to go. Brunson beats the buzzer and he cuts the lead to 11. He did that. You do need that. Good first quarter for Brunson, though. 11 points on nine shots. He's been able to knock down the three ball. Knicks are getting nothing from Josh Hart right now. Nothing from Hart. Uh, nothing from your defense. You gave up 38 no. points. Not ideal. Not ideal. Um, I mean, Kelvin Johnson coming off the bench, him giving you guys, or giving the Spurs 12 points. Obviously big. And the Spurs, listen, they were 6 of 11 from downtown. But, you know, honestly, all 11 of those shots were pretty, pretty freaking wide open. So, even though the Spurs are a bad team, still NBA players are going to, they're going to hit open. Yeah, Vasquez, 38 points to the Spurs team who only had Wemby playing five and a half minutes. I mean, it, it, it just felt like an effort thing defensively. Um, but I get it. I mean, the Knicks have had a really easy part of their schedule right now. It's kind of easy to, you know, not always bring it every game. But, hey, man, you're fighting for playoff seeding right now. Yeah. I threw a photo in there if you want to pop that up for me. Um, you got the Thunder and the Heat the next two games, so. This is must win. Yeah. You want to stay in contention for that second or third seed? Let's go. Shout out to my man, Eric Drumpf. That's He's dope. at the game in San Antonio. He's wearing his real one Nick Snow t-shirt. Let's go. Everybody give me an ED in the chat for Eric effing Drump, the realest of them all. That's my guy right there. He's That's wearing dope. the real one shirt at the game. That's love. Hell That's yeah. love. Everybody give me an ED in the chat for Eric Trump. He's at the game today. He's wearing his Nick Snow shirt. That's awesome. I'm going to keep my eyes out on the broadcast or the fans now when they show him in the crowd. That's awesome. Shout out to ED, man. That's what's up. Shout out to Eric Trump. He says, give it an ED for myself. Hey, if no one's going to pat you on the back, do it yourself, brother. Hey. That's awesome. That's my guy. Baby. Enjoy it, man. Enjoy it. I'm, I'm hoping for your sake um, that the Knicks can pull it out. That's always the worst, like, when you go to a game. Yeah. Like, for us, yeah, the Mavs game. The, they lost the, one game in the month of January, and it was when we went. <laughs> we were there. Ah, oh, shout out to Eric Trump, though. That's, what's, that's awesome. That's dope. Cool little arena in San Antonio. You can literally see that guy wearing a cowboy hat. <laughs> yeah. David says the same thing. You a fan of San Antonio? You ever been there? I have. It's cool. Cool spot. Yeah. Cool spot. The river walk, boardwalk, whatever you want to call it, is really cool. Here we go. Second quarter underway. Nick's got to turn it up. It's McBride, Chenzo, iHeart, Bogey, and Precious. McBride, he'll handle and then kick to Bogey. Bogey, guarded by Malachi Brandon, gets to the foul line. He'll rise up. Jumper no good. Dude, he's got no legs. And then, he, and then he begs for a call. And now San Antonio's out and running, and Osman lays it up and in right over Bogey. So you miss a shot, you argue a call, and you don't play defense. You don't get back. I mean, you could have got back, kept him in front. McBride uses the iHeart screen. Wemby's in the game. iHeart's going to attack him, and he has a shot blocked. Has a shot blocked by Wemby. iHeart's got to be more physical than that if you're going to go up against Wemby. He'll now drive on Achua. His layup up and That's in. It. A little scoop under the arm of Achua, and the New York Knicks are down 15. I mean, they really dug themselves a hole here. You got to be perfect the rest of the way to win this game. Yeah. McBride gets it to Bogey. Bogey off the screen. Getting locked up by Chetty Osman. Almost throws the ball away. DiVincenzo has to save it with one arm. He'll come off the screen. Get it to Hartenstein. Hartenstein's floater no good. He's feeling the impact of Wemby. Yeah. Got a shot. Already called with a charge. Missed a, uh, got his shot blocked, and he shot that floater too hard. And now he's guarding Wemby on the perimeter. He's got him dancing, but he missed the three. But Kelton Johnson beats Steven Chenzo and Achua to the board. And now Malachi Brandon blows right by Achua. And he's going to be fouled by McBride going to the line for two. Knicks don't want to play basketball today. They don't. And that's what's Knicks so frustrating right now. Today. There's just no effort. I mean, and also, dude, you can you watch these guards when they're coming off the screen and Wemby's in that drop. It is so different than just a regular big run and drop because he can almost be at the rim and still contest uh, or still, still contest the jump shot. Knicks don't want to play basketball today. It all starts on the first possession of the game. It's how you start. Josh Hart, what did he do? He threw it away. Shake Milton coming wow. in the game. 
Deuce McBride will sit down with 10 minutes and 30 seconds. These are the, this is the first time in his Nick career that he will play in the first half. Good. Like Hopefully that. he'll try. Type those 13s for Shake. As Dante DiVincenzo will bring it up. It's Shake Milton, DiVincenzo, Iheart, Achua, and Bogey. Remember, remember, Alec Burks is out. So that, that will that's probably a contributing reason. Hartenstein hands it off to Milton. Milton turns the corner and throws it out to Bogey. Bogey's going to drive. He'll take a step back. Good. Strong shot there from Bogey. He gets it to go. And Knicks don't get back. And the Knicks don't get back, and Wimbenyama throws it down, and the Knicks are down by 16 with 10 minutes to go in the second quarter against a team who has 17 wins this year. You're fighting for the two seed. They're fighting for ping pong balls, and they want it more than you. 16 fast break points already for San Antonio. Shake Milton. He'll drive. Drops it off to Iheart. He's not even looking to score after getting dominated by Wimby already. Wimby gets a little overzealous there, and then Wimby. Hartenstein misses the layup. I mean, Wimby's kicking his ass. Yeah, he is. Osmond, he'll throw it up to Wimby, who's going to post up a Chua. Hands it off to him. Osmond now finds a wide open Jones, who skips it to Johnson. Open three. No good. Rebound by Milton. Shake will bring it up the right side. Gets a screen from Ihar. He'll use it. Gets downhill. Throws a floater up from the foul line. No good. They're so scared of him. Yeah, they're letting a 19-year-old fuck them right now. Wimbenyama comes off the screen. Throws it to a wide open Branham inside because Bogey. Dude, Bogey get this can't fuck play. off my team, man. Cut boy on Bogdanovich. He sucks. He's he is killing you. He is terrible. Takes a three, no a good. Awful shot. Oh, my God. Wimanyama makes Boyan fall. Leaves a wide open. Brandon for three, good. Wait. Knicks are down 21. <laughs> and he's not going to hustle to close 21. out. Like, this is incredible. Let's just go home. I mean, they've given up 50 points. In around 16 minutes, 15 and a half minutes. The Knicks just don't want to, just don't want to be here. They're getting punked by a 19-year-old, and I understand he's great, but just go home. Just playing go scared. Home. Just go home. Josh Hart sets the tone by throwing away the first inbound pass. Josh Hart right now. It's like fumbling the snap on the first play of the game. Yep, or, or getting a false start. Like, Knicks don't want to play hoops today. Well, we are at the first TV timeout of the first quarter. Even in a blowout like this, it's still entertaining because of prize picks, because we can follow our lineups. I took more on Victor Wembanyama, 20 and a half points, and I took more on Deuce McBride, 16 and a half. It's gonna need, it's gonna be close, but I'm gonna need Deuce to have a big uh, second half here. But if you guys want to fade my picks, ride with my picks, whatever you guys want to do. We just encourage you guys to do it at Prize Picks. Download the Prize Picks app. Use code CLNS when you're making your first deposit, and we will hook you guys up with a first deposit match up to $100. Prize Picks, daily fantasy sports made easy. Simple. Pick more than, pick less than on two to six player stat projections. Get hooked up today. 20, you. I mean, this just get your ass kicked. I mean, it's embarrassing. And this isn't like a thing where like the Spurs are, you know, you say Angels in the outfield where they're just like hitting a ton of tough shots. They're getting easy looks. They're outworking you. Out, really outworking you. Wemby's got, I mean, Wemby's got six, six points, eight boards, four assists. He's a plus 19. Leave Boyan Bogdanovich in San Antonio. Dude. Leave him in San Antonio. We'll clean out the locker, brother. Leave, leave his sorry ass in San Antonio. So something, is, if we're looking at plus minus here, there's only three, there's five Knicks that have terrible plus minus. Everybody's out, else about even. It's DiVincenzo minus 21, <coughs> Hartenstein minus 22, Deuce minus 16, and then Precious minus 21, Bogey minus 17. So that lineup's been getting their ass kicked. Yeah, Wemby's on triple-double watch. What's up, DeVito? And JT says the Cavs are cooking. Yep, you'll be back down in the four seed. Yeah, the Cavs play. are only up two at half. You, you, fucking idiots, man. 
Pacers are beating the Lakers right now. You have the fucking two seed, a game and a half out, and you don't show the fuck up against the San Antonio Spurs. And it's also, dude, there's ten games left. You're right. a game and a half out of the two seed, and you don't fucking show up against the Spurs. And the next two games for the Knicks are the Thunder and the Heat. And then Good the luck. Kings, Bulls, Bucks, Bulls, Celtics, Nets, Bulls. Like, this was like kind of the one one game the rest of the way that you could chalk up as a win. Brunson back in. He'll pull up for three. No good. Terrible shot. Terrible shot. You're not going to get it all back in one possession, dude. Brandon will bring it up, guarded by Milton. And he'll just swing it around. Wembenyama guarding by Hartenstein. He'll hand it off to Champagne, who swings it to Osmond. Osmond blocked by Achua. Rebound recovered by Milton. Milton gets it to Brunson. Brunson to Bogey. Bogey left corner three. Not even close. As Milton is going to let the ball go out of bounds, and they'll stick here with the Knicks. Fight. Leave Bogdanovich's sorry ass in San Antonio. He doesn't deserve to play on a winning team. He doesn't. Send his ass fucking back to Detroit. Brunson will throw it into Hartenstein. I'll get it back to him. Looking to create. Nice backdoor pass to Milton. Nice Good. layup. Good off ball cut. And a nice find by Brunson. There we go. Knicks cut the lead to 19. Sohan drives on Bogdanovich. Throws up a crazy shot. No good. As Brunson will bring it up. Knicks have numbers. They should push. Brunson now guarded by Wimby. He'll pull it out. In and out dribble. Gets by him. Drops it off to Achua. Achua's push shot good from the right block. Knicks cut it to 17. Got to stack winning plays here. And then San Antonio will take a timeout. Popovich didn't like the way that those two possessions went. Like we're gonna need we're gonna need a Herculean effort from Jalen Brunson to beat the Spurs today. You don't want. I Hart two fouls in the first three minutes. Josh Hart throws it away on the first possession. Nobody getting back on defense. They had 16 fast break points at one point. Patrick Seaman. The Knicks had 19. 29 points in the game. Yeah. Also, Josh Hart not really playing too much. He only played eight minutes tonight. He doesn't deserve to play. He didn't show up. Too worried about his podcast. Cool episode, though, man. I just don't get it. You are one and a half games out of the two seed. The two seed. Home court advantage until the conference and, finals. And you don't show up against the Spurs. And listen, if you want to take a negative view of this, you're only two games ahead of the fifth seed. Like, they got to turn it up, man. No doubt. They are beating you just with effort. They are just beating you with effort. Get home court in that second round series, if that is against Milwaukee. I think that would be huge, man. Vidov says we're not winning today. <laughs> well, down 17. It's gonna it's gonna take a great, great next 31 minutes if you want to win this game. A lot of basketball to play already, Rock, but time's ticking. Get yourself such a hole, man. It was seven to zero in the first minute. Yeah, seven to zero in the first minute. Offensive foul by Hardenstein. Turnover by Hart. And it's also like a bad team like this. Like if you would have jumped on the Spurs in the oh, first, they would quit. They would have been all right. Yeah, we're, but now they. I mean, obviously, now they have hope. No, no, they have hope. They think they can win the game. Still at a TV timeout here, 7.30 to go in the half. Knicks down by 17. It's a 17 win San Antonio Spurs. Knicks are one and a half games out of the two seed. Every win is major at this point. Yep. And, and they, they decide to mail it in today. They decide to mail it in. Man, you got an opportunity like this to get a two seed, and you've been at without three of your starters for – all of the season, and, and you just show up and fucking don't even try. And then Hardenstein gets called for his third. He didn't want to hoop today either. No. He didn't want to hoop. 
He got on that. He got on that roommate's podcast. You know what that means. You go on the roommate's podcast and <laughs> you uh start start to play like an idiot. Three fouls for Hartenstein in four minutes of game. Four minutes of game time. Ten minutes, but yeah. Now you're going to force Mitchell Robinson to play big minutes after he just came back, guarding Victor Wembanyama, who just Euro stepped from the three point line and threw it down. Knicks might lose by 30. Knicks yeah. might lose by 30 today. Josh Hart subs back in. He'll hand it off to Brunson. Brunson drives, and then he's going to be fouled. Jake Milton getting extended minutes here. That's good to see. I mean, look at this move, dude. He Euro steps from the top of the key, two steps, and he throws it down. Brunson, guarded by Sohan, used the screen from Robinson. Can't turn the corner. He'll draw the foul on Sohan. Can't make the shot. He's got two more coming at the line, though. NC State up 11 with eight minutes left against Marquette. I tried to tell you about NC State. Dude. That's my guy. He He's only got four points, but seven assists for the big fella. Love that kid. Brunson at the line. First free throw, good. He has four points. Yeah. How much has he played? Uh, he's played 23 minutes. I am Jules says, is something wrong with Deuce? I don't think so. I think just getting some rest. Burks isn't, uh, maybe Tibbs decide not to play him 48 minutes today. Look at the energy on the bench, dude. They look like suckers. Brunson knocks in both free throws. What up, Bank? There's Branham, guarded by Brunson up top. He'll dribble to the right. They're going to throw it to Wemby. Wemby on the block, faces up Robinson, takes him underneath, and he's going to be fouled. He uses that underhand scoop shot a lot. So he draws fouls. He's going to the line for two more here. All right, tell He's starting to fill out a little more. Still super little, but. He's special, man. He is. Wemby's first free throw is good. As he knocks down both free throws. Brunson off the screen from Robinson. Goes at Sohan. Loses his footing and now recollects himself. We'll just bring it back out and reset. Ten the shot clock. Now he gets a screen from Hart. He'll step back. Kick it to Hart. Hart's going to dribble drive on Sohan. He'll take that fall away eight footer he likes. Doesn't get it to go. Robinson with the offensive board. Then he loses it, and he gets it back. Goes to Brunson in the corner. Ten on the shot clock. Plenty of time. He'll drive. He gets past Johnson. Eye off the glass. Brunson gets it to go. And now he's limping up the floor. Looks to have hurt his right hand as well. Brandon will bring it up. Gets it to Wemby. Wemby just gets a straight up easy look from seven. He missed it. Tried to bank it in a little bit too strong. Doesn't have that Timmy D bank shot yet. Brunson brings it up, gets a screen from Robinson. He'll eat up the space. He'll pull up. Jumper, good. Jalen Brunson says, get on my back. I'll do it. Cuts the lead to 15. Wemby running the offense. Hands it off to the cell. He loses it. Ball's loose. Hart comes up with it. He'll throw it up to Bogey, who runs it out in transition and throws it down with two. Pop needs a timeout as the Knicks cut it to 13. Just that good plays. Hey, Jalen Brunson gave you 17 in the first half. I'll help. How does Brunson show up and nobody else shows up? Yeah. I mean, literally nobody else. Brian Fitzgerald in the chat. What up, man? 
Just can't super chat in Japan. I need to figure this out. <laughs> Nick's need to figure it out, brother. Nick's need to figure it out. In Japan. That's what's up, man. What are you doing there? What are you doing there? AJ says, Nick's nation stand up. Ryan says, pop blood pressure rising. I fully expect, I mean, I knew I'd like to. Uh, I'm an emotional wreck, as you guys know, and I've understood at this point. And I just said two minutes ago the Knicks are going to lose by 30. I'm expecting them to win this game. I even was expecting them to win this game when I said that. I just had to say it to, to, to cool myself off. Yeah. Vasquez says, Wimby making I heart and Mitch look like boys. They are. Yeah, he is. He is. Henderson, what's up, man? Why can I never watch when the Knicks play the Spurs and Mavs? Damn this sub. What do you mean? Are you in Dallas? Or are you in Texas? Are you in Texas? That may be why. Already rock? They should win. They should win. House there and Hawaii. Nice. Nice. Love that. All right. Back to hoops. 5.15 to go in the half. It's down by 13. It's Hart, Robinson, Brunson, Shake, Milton, and Bogey. Branham catches it weak side. Three good. Fort Hood, Texas. Yeah, I think it's because you're in Texas. And they're saying when you're in Texas, you got to have the local stream. I remember that used to happen to me. As Milton will control for the Knicks, he gets it to Brunson. Brunson uses the screen from Robinson. They blitz him off it. He'll have to create some space. Now he's shaking, dancing, prancing into the lane. His shot is good. Gets the lucky roll. And Brunson up to 19 in the first half. Trying to do whatever he can to get this team back on track. Collins hands it off to Vassell. And then he'll throw it to Johnson in the corner. Bogey guarding him. He'll bring him out to the perimeter. Now gets a screen from Collins. He'll use it. Bounce pass to Collins. Goes right through. And then Shake Milton will be called for a foul. Milton picks up his first foul as Collins will go to the line for two. Darren the Tuber. What up, Darren? Says this team is a effing ice cream headache sometimes. Yeah, they are. It's because they're so good. Because he's so good. They're so good when they play like this, it is frustrating. It's like when you go to your favorite restaurant and, and, and you get your favorite meal and it comes and there's a new fucking cook back there. I'm with you. As Kevin Bellotti. Bellotti. Coming in with a $20 super chat. Shout out to Bellotti. Says we really need Randall back. We miss his scoring. You could use some Randall buckets today, but this is about defense. You've given up 58 points in the first half with still five minutes to go. This game, you, you, you don't need Randall to win this game. I'm not, that's, I'm not trying to diss Randall. You should be able to win this game by 20 without Randall. Brunson's going to post up Branham. He'll just take an easy step back, and he left it short. That's two times in a row. Didn't get the roll this time. They do need Randall back, I think, to win a championship, but you need regular season Randall back to play in the playoffs. We'll talk about that after the show, but... As Devin Vassell knocks in a corner three. It's back to 18. You're giving up 61 points. It's about defense. Hart throws it up and Achua throws it down. Back to 16. Yeah. I... Collins for three. No good. And then Brunson just watches the ball hit the deck. This is frustrating. As the first free throw is good, Nick's down 17 in the first half to the Spurs. Very frustrating. As Brunson drives and gets an easy layup, he's up to. I think 21 in the first half. Yeah. Only player that wanted to go win a basketball today. 
Branham off the screen. Finds Johnson from the corner. That three is no good. It's Chua able to haul on the boards. He'll get it to DiVincenzo. He'll look to put the pedal to the metal. He'll look to go in the fast break, and now he'll relocate to Brunson. Brunson gets the screen from Achua. Nice skip pass inside by JB, and Achua throws it down with two to cut the lead to 14 with 2.55 to go in the half. Can you get it to 10? As Branham drives and kicks, that's going to be a three for Vassell. That's no good. Collins oh. beats Achua to the board, and he'll throw it to Sohan, who finds Branham. He drives by McBride. His push shot off the glass. No good, but a rebound by Achua. Here comes Hart. Go, Josh. He'll go all the way, lays it up. Good. Go. Josh Hart doing what he does in transition. The left hand to the right hand off the glass and in. And it's a 12 point game and another timeout by Greg Popovich. Is it that hard? Is it that effing hard? They haven't won 20 games this year. They don't know what winning is. They're an AAU team with the best player in the nation. Yeah. That's what they are. Oh, God, Rack says Nick Stink. Yeah, they don't look that good right now. They don't look that good right now. They'll run there, though. A lot of ball left. A lot of ball. Can you get this to 10 at the half? Can you get this to 10 before the half? I mean, Brunson 21-5 and five in the first half so far, 9-15. I mean, he's the only one doing anything. Let's go, let's go. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. 740 people watching. If you haven't yet, hit that thumbs up icon for me. It'll be down to single digits by half, and we'll come out differently in a second. I hope you're right. Yeah. Kevin Bellotti says, do I, think Mil do I think Milton should replace Alec Burks for good? Yes, I do. I don't even really think Bogey should play anymore either. Rated, says Deuce and Devo can't get open. I don't think the offense has been a problem. You have 51 points. You're on pace to score over 110 points today. You've given up 63 points to the San Antonio Spurs in less than 24 game minutes. The reason you are losing is because of defense and effort. Offense is fine. Johnson up top, guarded by Hart. Looking to get it to Wemby. Achua being physical with him. He'll catch it at the top of the key. He'll face him up, put it on the deck, drives left. Gets it to a backdoor cut to Sohan. DiVincenzo fell asleep. Come on, Devo. You're better than that, man. Chenzo gets it to Achua. He'll throw it back to McBride, who hands it off to Hart. Nick's moving it around. Get it to Brunson off the screen. He'll turn the corner. Drops it off to Achua. Had it deflected. Nick's going to have to move. Five on the shot clock. Brunson. Right wing three. No good. Deuce McBride with the offensive board. He'll kick it to Chenzo. His three up and in. That's what I'm talking about. Nick's cut it to 11 with 140 to go. Got the deuce. Big rebound by Deuce there. And they get it to DiVincenzo in the shooting pocket as Dante DiVincenzo has set the record for the most three-pointers made by a Nick in a season. Wemby drives, kicks, three-pointer Jones. Good. I mean, Wemby might have a triple-double in the first. Back to 14, 118 to go. Sohan will defend Brunson. In and out dribble, go through the legs. He'll face him up. He's sizing him up. He's in the mid-range. He can just go to his spot if he wants to, and he'll throw it to the corner to Hart. Five on the shot clock. Hart's going to drive. He'll take that fall away, too. He missed it again. And now San Antonio's out and running. Josh Hart trying to get back. Brunson slides in to take a charge, and they call a block. I challenge that. That was a charge. That was a charge. Who'd they call the foul on? Called the foul on Hart. Good job, Josh. Brunson slides in to take a charge, and Josh Hart fouls him. When he's bad, he's really fucking bad, man. We're trying to get it to 10 before... The half. It might be up to 18. Nick's down 16 here. Less than a minute to go.
Brunson brings it up, gets it to Hart. Hart turns it over. Josh Hart, man. Johnson up top. Knicks down 16. 40 seconds to go. Hart guarding him. Backdoor alley-oop to Wimby up and in. Knicks are down 18. Knicks are down 18. Yeah, I don't know what Detroit was doing there. Brunson will bring it up with 39 seconds to go. Knicks are down 18. Brunson's going to look to get into the paint. Now slow it back out and pull it, pull it out to the three-point line. 10 on the shot clock. Guarded by Sohan. Here comes a screen from DiVincenzo. He doesn't use it. Gets into the lane. Kicks to Hart. Hart for three. Good. 21 seconds to go in the half. Shot clock turned off. Wemby will control, and they're just going to ISO Wemby versus Achua. Ten seconds to go. Wemby, 35 feet away from the basket. He'll take a step back, and it's going to be a foul on Achua. He made the three. doesn't count, but he's going to the line for two. Achua fouled 30 feet away from the basket uh, while the Knicks are in the bonus. Wiminyama looking to make it a 17-point game going into the half. Has got seven seconds to go. First free throw, good. Wimby, second free throw, good. Seven seconds to go. Knicks have been outplayed and outclassed here in the first. Brunson will bring it up. Guarded by Sohan. He'll stop. He'll drive. Fall away shot. No good. Knicks are down 17 to the San Antonio Spurs at halftime. All right, we'll fly through some stats here from the first half. Jalen Brunson, I mean, you get this from him and you're down 17. Obviously not good. 21.6 assists, 9 of 17. Can't get the three-pointer. The <clears throat> I mean, he's a plus two. I just don't know, like, what to say. You came into today. One and a half games back of the fucking two seed in the Eastern Conference. A chance to have home court advantage in round one. Have home court advantage in round two. And you come up and allow this fucking San Antonio Spurs to beat your ass. They scored 74 points in the first half. They outplayed you. They out. Last you, and they have nothing to play for. Their season is over. Their stadium is empty. No one wants to watch this team play, even with Wembenyama there. And you came out and laid a fucking egg with a chance to get a half 
game back of the two seed. And also the Magic, they're about to beat the Clippers right now. Um, Pacers are up on the Lakers. Heat are up by 40 against the Trailblazers. The Cleveland, joke. Like. Seven teams who's a fucking Spurs with a chance to cut it to a game. That's the one thing that is concerning, I will say, about this Knicks team and Obviously, no OG or Randall. Like, that matters. But you still have enough talent to – you should smoke the Spurs. Like, they just have too many games where it's just like – they just don't bring it. And you get blitzed. Like, this, I swear the Knicks – I would love to know, like, their plus minus on the season the first six minutes of a game. This is an embarrassing performance. It's an embarrassing performance. Game was decided in the first two minutes. Josh Hart throws away the first pass on the inbound, and then on the next possession, Hartenstein turns it over. Two turnovers without even getting a shot on the fucking glass. Hartenstein's going to foul out in the first half. He can't play. So now you have to go with Mitchell Robinson to play, who is coming back off of surgery and on a minute restriction, and then he can't play because it's a minute restriction. And then you're asking Precious that you would have guard Victor Wembanyama. And this fuck. Leave his sorry ass in fucking San Antonio. Leave his ass in San Antonio. I'll hey. buy your plane ticket back to New York. I don't care. Doesn't deserve to be on this team. William Burton says iHeart was on the podcast. Yeah, he was. I just don't understand how you have so much on the line, so much to gain with a win today, and so much to lose with a loss, and you don't show up against this first team who is begging to lose games. Yep. They are begging to lose games. They brought the horse to water. And the horse didn't fucking drink it. Michael like Henderson, what up, man? Marsh, did Seeps start the game with a boot? I was not able to watch all of your last stream. He did. Seeps did start today's stream with a boot. Stream started off hot tonight. And then the started off hot. We were ready to play. We're always fucking ready. Knicks then took it to the back and... We were ready to play out the jump. We ready to have fun. Friday night Knicks and... Johnson, dude, this is a great point. Open look after open look. Like, it's not like a thing where, like, the Spurs are hitting, like, a ton of tough shots. I saw somebody say it in the chat where it's like, they're getting lucky with these threes. They're wide open. They're wide open, and you let, like, a guy like Vassell see a couple go in at the early uh, parts of the game. Like, then when he is contested, he's only seeing back iron. Like, I understand, like, they're 10 of 20 from downtown. A little better than, I mean, obviously better than their season average. But well, you're down 17. If they missed five threes, they're still winning. Yeah. Like, and they could have shot five, five of 20. 20, and they're still beating you. Yep. Um, does you, the stat sheet you're looking at, does it show fast break points? Mine does not. Um, no, mine does not. Johnson, you. Um, yeah, and also Wemby. I mean, he's kicking the Knicks front court ass. 14, 8, and 6. Very disappointing. Greg Williams, what up, man? It's like that when you're playing spoiler for the rest of the season, you can play relaxed with no pressure. They have 17 wins. I kind of disagree with that. I don't, I don't agree with this at all. They have 17 wins. If that was the case, why don't they have more wins? Yeah, I think that's just like, it's like an easy excuse to like a bad team playing well, like, oh, they're playing, you know, you know, they're playing relaxed. But it's also, you could take the other part of that. Let's just say the Knicks got up 10 points here early. I mean, the Spurs are necessarily going to fold over. Um, and a lot of these guys, like, they're not, 
like I, I was listening to JJ Redick talk about it. Like, like when you're on a bad team, like later on in the year, like you're necessarily playing for film. Like you're playing for yourself. Like a lot of guys get very selfish. And maybe the Spurs with Greg Popovich, they haven't gotten to that point. But I don't know. I don't. I don't agree that they're playing relaxed. I mean, the Knicks were the one playing relaxed. Yeah. Yeah. No, the Knicks were playing relaxed. I get what you're saying, Greg, but I I can't agree with that. Yeah, I just can't. Spurs are 17 and 56. Fucking trap game word again. The thing OG coming in. Love this. Off nights happen, but giving up 74 in the first half is ridiculous. Still, let's go Knicks. I agree. Like, you're going to have nights where you don't shoot the ball well, obviously. Knicks are only... 4 of 13 from downtown, 51% from the field, 30% from beyond the They're shooting the ball fine. It's just like, dude. They have 57 points. I mean, the transition defense at the first eight minutes of the game, I mean, it was just wide open threes for San Antonio. Yeah, I I 100% agree, OG. Like, yeah, people have off nights. This isn't an off night, though. They're shooting 51% from the field. They're one three away from being at their league average, at, at their team average. This is... They didn't show up. First possession of the game. Josh Hart throws the ball away off the inbound after you allow a wide open three on the first possession of the game. So a three for the Spurs on the first possession. Josh Hart throws it away. I believe they get an easy layup. It's five to nothing. And then Hardstein gets called for an offensive foul. And then they get another easy bucket. It's seven to nothing. And then Hardenstein gets called for another foul and he's out. It's also like Hardenstein's kind of getting punked. A little bit. Like, he's scared to go up against Wemby. I get it. it. I would be terrified if I was on a basketball court. And I saw seven foot four, eight foot wingspan. Like, but dude. Game and a half out of fucking second place, and you don't show up versus first. I don't know how that happens. I don't know how that happens. I don't know. I don't get it. Gregory Williams says, come on, guys. Tell me this is the regular Knicks defense. I don't think it is. And I think that's why they have allowed 74 points. That's kind of our point, Greg, is that the Knicks aren't playing defense the way they know how to play. They allowed... 19 for uh 19 night it was either 16 or 19 transition points in the first quarter and a half. They don't do that. That's not because the Spurs are relaxed in my opinion. I just I respectfully disagree. I am saying that and actually agreeing with you where you're saying tell me this is the regular Knicks defense. It's not. And that's why they are getting open look after open look and after open look. That's why the Spurs are out in transition and running because the Knicks aren't playing their normal defense. If are we do we think the Knicks defense has been good, Greg? I, I'm just trying to understand you a little bit better. I know it's really hard in these type of situations because you can't verbally talk. But I think we're saying the same thing. It's not the normal defense. It's not like the Spurs are making tough shots. Yeah, you know, they made a couple tough shots, but a lot of these threes have been wide open. Got a lot of transition layups, a lot of transition dunks. Um, you'd play relaxed if you're not being defended. You're contradicting yourself, though. You're saying that the Spurs are playing relaxed, and that's why they're beating the Knicks. But then you're saying you would play relaxed if nobody was guarding you. And then you also just said this is not the same Knicks defense. I don't understand what you're trying to say. I would love to understand. I don't. I don't get this. I don't. I don't. I wish I could understand you better, brother. Um, you'd play relaxed if you're not being defended. I don't know. I, I'm trying because they're not being challenged. So why aren't? So if they're not being challenged, does that mean the Knicks are playing bad defense?
You, you got you got me in a mental pretzel, man. You're, I mean, you're you're on both sides of the fence here. You can't say this isn't the regular Knicks defense, but the Spurs are winning because they're relaxed. You 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 got it right on the first time. This isn't the regular defense. That's why you're losing. I think he's like, Gregor, I, I, I get what you're saying. Like, I just think it's wrong. Like, he's, like, when you're taking open threes and you're a relaxed team, like, I get what you're saying when it's like, you got no pressure on you to make threes, but I don't know. It's tough to be wide open. So are they winning because they're relaxed or are they winning because we're not playing defense? Because it can't be both. Playing defense. It can't be both. No, yeah, it's because they're not playing defense. Because if they were relaxed and we were playing good defense, would they still make their shots? He's even saying, I don't know. I think it's a stupid conversation. I yeah. think the Knicks are just not bringing it. Yeah. Frank says, what up, man? Thank you for the support. And Greg, thank you for the support. Um, I, just, I, just, I just can't I can't agree with that. You're losing this game because you gave up 74 points in the first half, and you're on pace to give up 150 to the Spurs, who have 17 wins this year. Um, you didn't come ready to play. Your defensive effort has been really, really bad, and that's why you're losing. It's, it's quite literally that simple. Um, Y'all know the Knicks always come back, but are we going to win? They are the kings of the fake comeback, brother. Yep. You are right on the money with that. They are the kings of the fake comeback. Um, Brian Fitzgerald says the Knicks can gut this out. It will be a statement. I don't really agree. Uh, you should win. You were favored by nine points. Yeah. Like, Think about that. You're down 17 at half. And you were favored by nine and a half. What if you chose the Spurs to cover a 16 and a half point spread in Las Vegas and you put $100 on that? Is that, is that $10,000? Oh, the Spurs to cover them being favored by 16? Yeah, I mean, it'd be ridiculous. Changing the spread by almost 25 points. The Magic did lose. That's big. Uh, I, I I know why they're losing. Basulo's got it right. They're tired. They're tired. That guy. I'm tired too. Should we not do the show? Like, <laughs> this is what they're paid to do, man. I, I I hate that excuse. Even if it's a back to back, like I. Not a back to back. That's they what I'm saying. Like play even, yesterday. Even if it was. They didn't even play. They played the fucking Raptors. Magic lost to the Clippers. I'm saying they were able to play relaxed because they are not being surrounded by this extra. But you said that they were playing relaxed because they're playing spoilers. Whatever. <laughs> I get it. You can play more free mind when nobody expects you to win. Like, I... <laughs> I hear you, but it <laughs> I don't really think it makes that much of an impact on the game. I think it makes more of an impact when the Knicks are just let them shoot wide open threes. Relax, stress, doesn't matter. A wide open three is a wide open three. What up, Ramon Garcia? How you doing? I'm right Good there with you. you, John. That's exactly how I feel. Plain and simple, they took this team lightly and thought they could do the same to them as they did with the Raptors. Took a team lightly, and that team came and punched them in the mouth, and they've been stumbling ever since. Saying the Magic lost. That's big if they did. Yeah, lost to the Clippers. Thank you, Los Angeles. Miami Heat are up by Which four makes this loss even worse. Because yeah. you could have extended your lead against the Magic. Yeah, you would have. If the Knicks win, they would have a three-game lead over the five spot. All right, here we go. Second half underway. Knicks will start with the ball. Hartenstein hands it off to McBride. McBride gets downhill, drops it off to iHeart. He dunks it. How about we come out and we punch him in the mouth in the second half? How about that? How about that? Let's go. Jones up top. He'll kick it to Champagne. They're going to go right into Wemby. He'll be guarded in the post by iHeart. He'll face him up. 
Kicks it out. Trey Jones, open three. No good. Rebound by Brunson. He'll bring it up. Knicks down 15. Gets a screen from Iheart. Gets into the lane. Goes behind the back. He'll stop and pop from the foul line and get it to go. That's how you fucking come out of the half. 13-point game. Keep it going. Jones to Wemby. Wemby up top. He'll hand it off to Vassell, who turns the corner. Drives on iHeart. Layup high off the glass. No good. Wemby taps it up. Gets it back. Holds it up like the Statue of Liberty, and he missed. Rebound by iHeart. Here comes Josh. Go, Josh. Kicks it to Chenzo. Chenzo, three. No good. Rebound. Collected by Wemby. Hartenstein's holding his face. Vassell will push. He kicks it cross court to Champagne. Who drives? Good contest by Chenzo. No good. Rebound by Hart. Knicks have numbers. Go, Josh. Go. He finds Brunson. Left wing. And it'll post up. Here he goes. Brunson versus Jones. Has the whole left side of the floor. He's getting doubled, and then he throws it to a cutting Hart. Who hands it off to Deuce. Deuce for three. Good. It's a 10-point game. Welcome to the ball game, New York. Come on. Champagne up top. Guarded by Hart. Wemby has it almost stolen by Brunson. He'll kick it to Jones. Wide open three. He missed it. Rebound by Hart. Throws it up head to Brunson. Go. Go. And he'll slow it down. Guarded by Osmond. He cooked him in the playoffs. You know he likes this matchup. Crossover. Drives by him. Gets it to Ihart. Ihart back door to Brunson. And he lays it up and in. It's an eight-point game. Let's go, Knicks. Come on, man. Is it that hard? Is it that hard? They are a legitimately a terrible basketball team. They're the AAU team that buys the best prospect in the nation's parents a house. And now he's playing on that team, and he's surrounded by a bunch of no-names. 17 wins for a reason. They are not a good team. We are on pace to win 50 games for a reason. We are a good team. Play like it. Come on. What do you think Tibbs said at halftime? Y'all know what. I feel like it was kind of like, y'all guys, like, you guys know what. It ain't that hard. No. Johnny Blaze, what up, man? You the best, brother. You the best. Thanks for showing us love, man. Thanks for showing us love. Oh, man. Why do we have to do this? It's not over, though. You're down eight. No, you're it ain't, down, it ain't still, a comeback till you take the lead. Still down eight. Okay. It ain't a comeback till you take the lead. This will just be a big win, man. 700 people watching, 297 likes. If you could, please hit that thumbs up icon for me. Exactly, Greg. I agree. Knicks are playing defense, and the Spurs are scrambling. I bet you the Spurs aren't playing as relaxed in the first. John says Tibbs smacked them all upside the head of half and said, wake the fuck up. Showed him a picture of the standings. I hate the, I hate the heroes. I told you they'd come back. Relax, dude. They're going to win. No. There's no relax. There's nine games left in the season. I waited all fucking eight months and did 70 of these watch parties. I didn't want to. I don't know. Fuck that. Think you're going to tell Tibbs to relax? Still down eight, exactly. Tom Saunders, I would love to know as well. As Wemby in the pick and roll, Hardenstein jump ball! That's what I'm talking about, man! Huh. 
Kind of a jump ball here. It's going to be Wemby versus Iheart. They jumped it up to start the game. Wimby won it. They have all four of their players on the side of Wimby to where he'll tip it. They don't have anyone behind Hardenstein. As Hardenstein won the tip, wow. and he tipped it out of bounds because the Knicks weren't in position. Darren, what up, man? Do certain fans watch games like this? Don't. I don't know what you mean by that. I don't know what you mean by that. As Wemby drives, he'll swing into the corner, wide open three, no good. Board, loose, and Wemby comes up with it. Then he spins and he kisses it off the glass. Nick's back down by 10. <sighs> gotta, got, not a stop until you, get a, until you get a rebound. Nick's back down by 10. Hart will handle. He gets it to Brunson. He has space. He'll take a three. Good! Brunson knocks in his first three of the game. <laughs> Wemby up top. Guarded by I Hart. Use the screen. Throws it to Vassell. Have it on the baseline. Hart guarding him. He'll face him up. Puts it on the deck. Backs him down. Kicks it out to Osmond. Osmond back to Vassell. Vassell's going to drive. Looks like a step back corner three. That's no good. But Champagne what? with an easy board. Brunson didn't box out. DiVincenzo didn't box out. They all just ball watched. Put a body on a body, man. Josh Hart have it. They're working that off ball screen for Brunson again. They get it to him in the same spot. He'll put it on the deck, turns the corner, gets into the paint, lay up, high off the glass, no good, but Hartenstein there to clean it up. Seven point game, how about a stop here? Jones drives to the baseline. He'll have it poked away by DiVincenzo. Hey, okay, Darren, I see. Yeah, exactly. Maybe I just love this shit too much. Maybe I just do. I don't know. Jones will throw it in. Spurs moving it around. Wemby will control. Have it on the right wing. He'll take a step back three. Good. That's unstoppable. That's unstoppable. He looks like a seven foot five Kevin Durant right there. What a play by Victor Wimbanyama. As Brunson drives, his layup no good, got his own miss, and then he kisses it off the heavens. 28. 28 for JB. He might need 50. Eight point game. Wemby. Puts it on the deck. Ball loose. Stolen by Brunson. DiVincenzo's out and running. He gets it to Hart. Hart to Deuce. Deuce from the corner. No good. Hart with the board. Go up with Ooh. it. He just pulled a Ben Simmons and passed up a dunk. Knicks will reset. Brunson one-on-one -on -one versus Wemby. Top of the key. He'll drive. He'll pull up for the foul line. And it's good. What a shot by Jalen Brunson. Six-point game. Let's go, Knicks. Jones on the right wing. Seven minutes to go in the third. Guarded by JB. They're trying to get it to Wemby. They will. He's in that mid-range game. He'll spin. Step through. I mean, it looks like he travels every time just because of the ground he covers. And then Champagne meets Hartenstein at the rim and finishes over him. Back to an eight-point game. Hart will handle. Has it by the logo. 15 on the shot clock. Gets it to Iheart. Iheart now hands it off to Brunson. Brunson turns the corner, drops it off to Iheart, who now gives it to Josh. Josh has an open three. He'll take it, and he'll make it. Welcome to the ball game, Josh Hart. Knicks down by five. Play some defense. Knicks are three of five from distance. Vassell, guarded by McBride, gets a screen from Wemby. He throws it to him. He kicks it. Brunson beats Wemby to the floor. I love it. Here comes Deuce. Dante DiVincenzo just tried to throw a fucking lob to Deuce. What are you doing, dude? Knicks will slow it down. Brunson guarded by Champagne. He's got him on skates. He'll drive. Step back. Triple try. It's oh. good! Jalen Brunson! 35. 14! Boom! That's what I'm talking about, man! 35 and 6 for JB.
I could not believe DiVincenzo tried to do that. You don't, you don't trust the deuce hops? The pass! <laughs> he was giving his boy a chance. That was pretty funny. Come on, JP! Oh, he's throwing it up. But not the MVP, though. No. Not the MVP. Literally the only reason. <laughs> the only reason you're in this fucking game. He's got 35. Game. Ridiculous. Might go for 50. Make sure everybody watching, I need to make sure everybody watching today's show is hooked up with our proud sponsor, Prize Picks, the number one daily fantasy sports app in the game. PrizePicks.com slash CLNS. Use the promo code CLNS. All you do is create a lineup of two to six players, and you simply choose more or less on their projected stat line. This is the lineup we rolled with tonight. Seeps, is Wemby already over 20 and a half? No, or he's more at than? 19, so we need two more. 19 points for Wemby. Deuce, Deuce is at five. Deuce at five. Going to need an explosive fourth quarter from Deuce, but that's why I use that promo code CLNS. We'll match your first deposit up to $100. Put 80 bucks in. We'll give you 80 for free. Put $99 in. We'll give you $99 for free. Win big money. Turn your basketball IQ into some dollars to make them holla. It's prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Promo code CLNS. It's already up 15 <coughs> in this third quarter, though. I mean, first. <laughs> yeah. it, almost like, it almost like pisses you off a little bit, though. It's like they, I mean, they had this potential. They didn't need to make this game as stressful as it was. But we'll take it. Ridiculous. Full amount now. He's pretty good. Jalen Brunson? Yeah. yeah. He's all right. He's pretty good. I saw we did get a $5 super chat from my guy, South Holland. Shout out to my guy, South Holland. That's my brother. He says, I heard about you being down 35 big ones. Never got the chance to congratulate you. Keep going, my guy. Health is wealth. Oh, South yeah. Holland, I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. Had to get back in my bag. Had to get back in good shape. I'm still on my way. Not even close. But you know what? That's motivation right there. Shout out to South Holland for always showing love and tuning in. We appreciate you, man. We appreciate you. I'm always just blowing the fuck out now. How do we just blow him the F out? Yeah, 33 after the boots, Bronx boy. <laughs> 33 <laughs> after the boots. Would be about 50 by now if we didn't do boots. Seriously, seriously. That's what we do for you guys. That's what we do. Brunson already 14 this quarter. Insane. It ain't a comeback until you take the lead, though. Wesley, he'll handle, gets it to Vassell. Vassell back to Wesley. Wimby is not in right here, Steve. you got to make a run. Yeah. Vassell turns the corner, kicks it out. Collins with a straight on three. No good. Rebound by Hart. Knicks are out and running. Go, Josh. He'll get it to Brunson. Brunson to Deuce. Now they slow it down and get it into their half-court offense. Brunson at the logo. He'll put it on the deck. Guarded by Branham. Now face him up. He's looking to Cook. He'll get into the lane. Left-hand scoop. High off the glass and in. Brunson's looking to get 50 tonight. And we're tied at 83. But it ain't a comeback till you take the lead. Wesley gets it to Vassell. You see the foot speed of the Knicks defense now on display. Vassell, baseline, Jay, good. Spurs back up by two. Spurs back up by two. It ain't a comeback until you take the lead. Brunson gets it to Chenzo. Chenzo to Ihart. They'll run that two-man game. Hardenstein guarded by Vassell. Throw it out to Deuce. Seven on the shot clock. We're going to get it to Brunson on the right side. Good denied defense here by San Antonio. Josh Hart has it. He'll launch a three. No good. Rebound. San Antonio will collect. And then Kelton Johnson in transition throws it up. Zach Collins throws it down over Ihart. Back down by four. It ain't a comeback until you take the lead. Come on, man. It ain't a comeback till you take, take the lead. The next leading score for the Knicks has 11 points. Chenzo? You know who shouldn't come in the game right now? Bogdanovich. Yes. He like, should not play in the second half. 
The only people that should come off the bench in this game are Precious, Mitch, and Shake Milton. I'll tell you what, Shake in six minutes, he had two points, three boards, and assists. I, mean, I, th I liked what I saw from him. He just fits. Like, I, 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 I've always liked Shake. No bogey, Tibbs. Still down four. Like, down four. It was just tied. Tied, and you allow Vassell to get you to the. Yeah, I mean they. I mean they let Vassell get going in the first couple minutes of the game. It's a good point, South Holland. Knicks have made a couple of runs. Can the Spurs continue to answer the runs? And did how many more runs do the Knicks have in them? It's a really good point. Bulls are going to lose to the Suns. As the starters remain in the game, Hartenstein hands off to Brunson. He'll launch. Good! Jalen Brunson is in that mode. Come on! Knicks down by one. Four minutes to go in the third. Collins hands it off to Vassell. Brunson guarding him. He'll use the screen. He'll attack Hartenstein. Step back mid-range. Jay, good. He gets to that spot very similarly to Jalen Brunson. Yeah. Josh Hart will bring it up. He'll use the screen of Hartenstein. And now he'll throw a backdoor pass to Brunson. Brunson in the lane. He's fouled. Call it. He gets the bucket to go. That should have been an and one. Back down by one. How about a stop score here to take the lead? Brunson's got 42, 21 this quarter. Give me some MVPs in the chat. Vassell drives, kicks, Collins, open three. No good, rebound by DiVincenzo. Let's go. Josh Hart brings it up, gets the screen. He'll find Brunson, Brunson into the lane. Fall away, 14 footer, oh. he left it short. No legs. No legs for Brunson. Here comes San Antonio, they'll look to push Wesley. Gets downhill, into the lane, ball's loose! Hardstein throws it off to of San Antonio, Aww. and then Brunson touched it last. Brunson touched it last. Also, Jalen Brunson, a plus 20, or plus 18 tonight. Plus 18, and you're down by one. Josh Hart's a plus 14. Brunson up to eight 40-point games. He's three behind Patrick Ewing, and five behind Bernard King. God, Patrick Ewing had 11 in his... Back when they were scoring 80. Yeah. Wesley up top, guarded by JB. He'll throw it in the corner. Vassell, three, no good. Hey, don't play with your food. Go take the lead. Brunson will bring it up. He finds Chenzo. Chenzo wanted to launch. He did not. Hart and Stein checks out. Robinson in. Brunson up top. In and out dribble. He froze the defense. And they're going to call a foul on the ground. Foul on the ground on San Antonio. Is 60 out of the question here for Brunson? 18. He might have to play this whole game. DiVincenzo throws it into Robinson. Robinson hands it off to Dante. 10 on the shot clock. Knicks are at half court. They got to go. DiVincenzo puts it on the deck. He'll be doubled. He missed the cutting Robinson. And now he just launches. Horrible possession. Balls on the deck. Dive deuce. Wesley comes up with it. He kicks it up ahead. Kelton Johnson open three. He missed it. He missed it. Holy shit, he wasn't relaxed. Rebound by the Knicks. Here they come. Come on, man. Just get the ball to JB and clear it out. We'll have a Josh Hart three instead. What are we doing? Dude's got 20 this quarter. And he doesn't touch the ball. As the ball's loose, and Deuce, Deuce comes up with it. Deuce McBride. Throw it. Open three for Chenzo. He smoked it. Josh Hart with the board to Deuce. Oh, Deuce missed the layup. Hart missed the layup. <laughs> they can't take the lead. He can't take the lead. Oh, my God. Bogey's checking back in. As Vassell drives and dunks it. Dude, you don't take the lead, and they fucking dunk it, and you're down three. These fucking Knicks, man. He's fucking Knicks. Brunson drives. He's fouled. He doesn't call it. Throws it out to Chenzo. Hart has it. Once again, ball's been in Josh Hart's hands way too much. He'll drive. His layup blocked. Blocked. He throws. Oh. He, he shoots it from the ground. 
Oh my god, that would have been so live. Tibbs is looking confused as hell right now. Jalen Brunson is having one of the best games a player in the NBA has had this season. And we are relying on Josh Hart ISOs. What are we doing, man? What are we doing? Here we go. Knicks still haven't taken the lead yet in this comeback. The cell looking to heat up off the screen as Wembenyama checks back in and he launches a three. Good. Jeez. Never took the lead. You couldn't capitalize on the non Wemby minutes and you're already back down by six. Already back down by six. You got to close this quarter, too, man. Josh Hart fucking deuce me. Yeah, I'm missing layups. Layups. Here we go. Down six. 40 seconds to go. Brunson looking to continue to carry this team. He'll try a step back three. Oh, my God! Jalen Brunson! Let's go! Somebody match his energy! Come on, man. It's embarrassing. 45. Vassell. He'll handle. He's had a great game. He'll pull up for three. Couldn't bake it in. Rebound by Robinson. The Knicks will control with 15 seconds to shoot. Shot clock is turned off. Nobody should touch this ball except Brunson. He's guarded by Wesley. Clear it out. Go to work, JB. Brunson, crossover. Oh, he's got him dancing, and he's fouled. And he's fouled. They had a foul to give, so the Knicks will now throw it in near half court with 3.2 seconds to go. As Brunson is the inbounder. I don't love this. Brunson looking to throw it in. He gets to Bogey. Bogey fakes the handoff, and he turned it over. Jesus Christ. Dog, he is such a bad basketball player. <laughs> Leave Boyan Bogdanovich in San Antonio. The Spurs can have him. Has anything good come out of him since he's been on this team? South Holland, you like that one? You like that one, South Holland? I I'm an asshole, I know. It's one of my flaws. I'm an asshole. I'm an asshole, I know. It ain't a comeback till you take the lead, Patrick Seatman. <laughs> I mean, I Jalen Brunson's having a great game. You know, don't want to take anything away from that. Um, the dude's got 45, and you're down three to the 17 win Spurs. Like, can somebody else come with him in the fourth? Do you play him all 12? Do you risk? Is that what we have to do to beat the Spurs? And that's sad, but I'm going to play 30 minutes tonight. We're just running him 42. It's incredible what Wemby's done tonight in 22 minutes. 22, 12, and 7. Like, dude, I'm telling you, Wemby, Wemby's going to be one of the greatest players of all time. They were down 17 before the quarter started? Yes, they were, Bronx boy. <sighs> the Miami Heat are up 114 to 67 right now. What Tibbs decides to do here. How long does Jalen Brunson start on the Why bench in the fourth? Why is this a game? Tell you what, the Knicks never fail to entertain us. Um, You're right, Jay Liv. He's not a unicorn. He is an alien. He's yeah. seven foot four and he looks like Kevin Durant. <laughs> and on the other end, he he looks like freaking Dikembe Mutombo. But he can also like move his feet. Like, like Giannis. Like it's I, I swear, like, I know it's going to sound insane, but, like, we, may, we might be watching the best player of all time. Like, I know it's crazy to say, but, like, you just get a certain feeling when you watch Wemby. The Hornets beat the Cavs? No way. No, the, the Sixers are playing the Cavs. Yeah, what do you mean? Reality check. Sixers are up 113-112 with 39 seconds to go. Sixers will be huge for the program. Here we go, fourth quarter underway. It's Precious, it's Deuce, it's Dante, it's Robinson, 
and Bogey. They're going to go right to Wemby. And they're going to call it travel. Let's go. Come on, man. Deuce will bring it up. He'll get it to Devo. He's going to get a screen from Robinson. He'll turn the corner. Gets into the lane. Drop off pass to Robinson. Robinson bumps there Wemby and he misses the put back from fucking a foot away. Ooh. Dunk the ball. And now Wemby brings it up and he'll hand it off to Jones. Jones uses the screen. He's got to step on a Chua. Kicks it out to Champagne. He'll drive from the baseline. Good defense by the Knicks. Jones into the paint. He'll throw it out. Five on the shot clock. Move your feet, Bogey. Oh my and Bogey God, fouls Kel Johnson. Take just... fucking Boyan Bogdanovich out. Dude, he just looks like an old man out there. Like, he, he's still talented offensively, but he is so bad. Move your feet. I would, I'd rather play Shake Milton than, than Boyan Bogdanovich. Yes. Wemby on the right wing, guarded by Mitch. Hands it off to Jones. They run a little two-man game. Good job by Deuce to go under it. Kelton Johnson, pump fake, drive, throws up a crazy shot, and he gets a foul. Cavs just took the lead in Philly or in Cleveland, one fifteen, one thirty. Danny Wait. McGrath is okay. Knicks time to win. Breaking news here on former Knicks guard Quentin Grimes. He will miss the rest of the season. Injury? Yeah. Hope he's all right. Lingering muscle soreness. Yeah, they ain't trying to win. First free throw, Johnson, no good. Clyde said Wemby's a combo of Wilt and Kareem on offense and Russell on defense. Second free throw for Johnson. Good. Knicks back down by four. In a comeback to you take the lead. They haven't done that yet. I, I don't know if they've ever led this game. I don't think they have. I think it has been a wire to wire. The Knicks have shot three free throws tonight. Bogey off the pin down. Foul line jumper. He broke it. Close. He fucking hit the back. Rebound by Achua, hands it off to Deuce. Deuce will drive from the corner, gets back into the lane. His push shot, no good. Rebound by Wemby. Spurs are out and running. Jones up ahead. Champagne lays it up in transition. Foul by Bogey. Foul by Bogey. Bogey does this. Bogey does that. Bogey doesn't help this team win. Bogey continuously hurts this team. Bogey sucks. Cut fucking Bogey. Out of the rotation. It's Colleen checking Marsh a little bit. Colleen says, keep your energy positive, Marsh. Please, we got this. Brunson is the way. Let's go, New York. I like it, Colleen. Colleen, you know what? I appreciate it, but I, I cannot keep it positive when you are losing to the San Antonio Spurs by seven points, six points here in the fourth quarter. They have 17 wins. I'll try. I, I can't make any promises, Colleen. Knicks back down by six to the 17 win Spurs. Ridiculous. Six point game. Steven Chenzo has it left wing. He'll throw it to Robinson at the top of the key. He'll hand it off to Bogey. Bogey passes up the open three. Now he'll drive and he turned it over. Dude. He had a wide open layup. He didn't take it. He turned it over. Please fucking take him out of the game, Tom Thibodeau. I mean, I'm starting to question Tibbs a little bit. Like, what is he looking at? Jesus. Spurs only have one more timeout. I think if Bogey didn't play today, he'd be winning. Like, if he just didn't play. Wemby, corner three, oh good. God. That may be it. That may be it. I mean, this, this dude's incredible. That might be it. I mean, put Brunson back in. Like, nah, dude, why would you do that? Why would you do that? Deuce into the lane. He's scared to shoot. Misses another layup. Robinson misses the layup. Falls I mean, loose. Knicks will control. Bogey three. I mean, Wemby is just dominating this game. Not even close from Bogey. Not even close. 
Wemby out to Branham. Branham dribble drive out to a wide open Trey Jones three. Good. He's relaxed. He's relaxed. Knicks are back down by 12. It's over. It's over. It's over. That's what happens when they start bogey in the freaking fourth quarter, man. He can't play. Eric Drunk. Coming in with a 10. Shout out to ED. Says, not trying to nitpick, but you keep mispronouncing firm. L-F-G-K, Knicks over the San Antonio Spurs. F roll it. I just want, I can't speak right now. I can't. I can't fucking speak. Now you need Jalen Brunson to be the best player in the NBA again. He cuts the lead to one. He's going to have to go get you 60 if you want to win. He's going to have to have a 40-point second half. Oh, Eric Trump. Eric Trump. Brunson, 45 points in the first three quarters, and you wait until 9.30 left in the fourth for your team to be outscored in the fourth. Have the Knicks scored in the fourth? No, they haven't. The Knicks have not scored a point in the fourth quarter. The Knicks haven't scored in the fourth quarter. I think oh, he, he has to be up there in like. Oh, he is the worst player in the NBA right now. He is yeah. the worst player in the NBA. He is turnover prone every time he touches it. He can't guard anyone. And he is shooting a below average three point percentage. He came to the next season. He was averaging 20 points. Now in the season, he's averaging 16 points. Yeah, I, I, that's insane. He was a 20 point a game guy before this. Brunson still on the bench. Tibbs, I mean, don't put him back in. If you get down 15 here, like. What the fuck is Tibbs doing? He, he clearly made it a point of emphasis where he's going to give Josh Hart and Jalen Brunson a, not a minute restriction tonight, but Hart's only got 27 minutes and Jalen Brunson's only at 20. Cavs won. You lose this game, you're back in the fourth seed. Guess who gets to stay in the game? Boy on Bogdanovich. Here we go. Knicks down 12, 9.30 to go. Josh Hart has it on the right wing. He'll give it to Hartenstein. Hartenstein looking to dribble handoff to Dante. He'll get it to him. Dante, three. Good. Come on, man. Come on, man. Nine-point game. Jones has it on the right wing. Guarded by Deuce. He'll get it to Wemby. Wemby's going to drive. He'll face up on Hartenstein in the mid-range. Looking to go to work. Hardenstein poked it away. Wemby got it back. Five on the shot clock. Johnson drives baseline. Kicks it out. Branham dropped it. And it's going to be a what steal. A David Chenzo to Hart. Hart transition. Lays it up and in. Seven point game. Branham drives. Steal. Oh, they called a foul on Dante. That was a clean steal. As Branham, foul line, no good. Ball, don't lie. Get the BDLs in the chat. Let's go. Ball, don't lie. The MVP back in the game. As Jalen Brunson checks back in with the Knicks down seven and 840 to go. Second free throw good. Lead back up to eight. Brunson will let it roll. 
He'll be guarded by Chetty Osmond. In fact, the Knicks have shot three free throws, and San Antonio has shot 22. It's crazy. Brunson off the screen. Gets into the lane. Kicks it back to Hartenstein. They play a little two-man game. It's been great so far. Brunson's fouled. He'll go to the line for two. As Brunson got hit in the back of the head by Chetty Osmond's jaw. Brunson's going to go to the line for two here. Had a couple of Super Chats roll in. Quentin Gilliam with a $5 Super Chat. What up, Quentin? Says, if we can't beat the effing Spurs, we can't win a chip. Um, I don't know if I'll go that far, but it, if you lose this game, it's the worst loss of the season. Gregory Williams, $5 Super Chat. Question, why isn't Achua, why isn't Achua not shooting the ball? So why is he shooting the ball? Why is he shooting the ball? Is he shooting the ball? Double on Tyler. Achua has shot three times and he has three mates. I, I don't know what you're saying, Greg. I wish I could understand you. Please help me out. Six-point game here as Brunson goes two of two from the line. Vassell will have it up top, gets the screen from Wemby. Back to him. He'll rise up from the foul line. Good. Good. Knicks down by eight. Brunson will bring it up, has some space, and now he'll slow it down again. He'll run just the two-man game with Hartenstein. Gets the screen, has some space. He attacks Wimby. Got him in the air. He's fouled. No call. And then Brunson gets ran over by Wimby again. No call. Five free throws for the Knicks, 24 for San Antonio. Johnson drives the up and a foul on Josh Hart. Yep. Yep. It's one of those games. It's one of those games. Brunson about that 50, and you lose to San Antonio. That's just a dumbass foul by Josh Hart. Wemby's first free throw, good. Back down by nine. What up, Ben Little? If Grimes was, thanks for the super chat. If Grimes was still here, A, McBride would not be balling, or B, Grimes would not be balling. This is just another Texas ref dreams. Grimes would not help. Wimby misses the second. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what exactly you're, we're, we're doing with that. Um, I don't know. Brunson drives. He's fouled. I'm going to say it's on the ground. Um, I wish I could understand what you're trying to say, Ben, but yeah, I don't think this game's any different with Grimes. I don't know if I said anything like that, or maybe talking to somebody else. Um, I don't know. Brunson, pull up, three, good! Come the fuck on! 50. 50 for Brunson, and you're down! Wesley up top. He'll get it to Wemby. Ten on the shot clock. Steal by Deuce. Deuce out. Transition. Throws it down. Knicks down by four. Gotcha, South Holland. I didn't know if that was a conversation in the chat. I was very, very confused. Vassell uses the screen. Gets into the lane. Throws it in the corner. To Osmond, he'll swing it. Champagne drives. His layup. No good rebound by the Knicks. They have numbers. Hart's pushing. He'll go all the way and kick. Genzo for three. Good! It's a one-point game. Timeout, San Antonio. Come on. It ain't a comeback till you take the lead. How many times, South Holland, are the Knicks going to be right there and not get it done? <laughs> 50 for Jalen Brunson.
Ben Little. I just didn't know what you meant, man. I was so confused. I was like, did I say something about Grimes? I didn't know that you were talking in the chat. Seeps just ran to the restroom, but when he comes back, he will pop that up on the screen. He says, oh, yeah, F me, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If I came across like an a-hole, I'm sorry. I was just saying Grimes and McBride IQ. Tibbs chose one, and that was always going to be the case. 100% agree. And I agree with what you said. If you had Grimes still, McBride would not be playing. 100% agree with that. Um, yeah, I don't think Grimes necessarily changes this game. I, I, I didn't get to see what everyone was saying in the chat, but... Um, uh, Y'all love to tell people how to act when their team is losing. It's kind of crazy to me. I don't really get that. I don't get that. You want me to remove Holy Cohen? Why? Because he's saying L Knicks? How about we just get him out of the chat? How about all the Knicks fans type JB and we drown him out of the chat? How about that? How about that? We, we're not going to kick somebody because they're a Spurs fan. How about we just get a thousand JBs in here and we tell that fucker to kick rocks? How about that? Damn, I thought we had some New York tough guys in here. You guys are crying about me being mad that we're losing the Spurs. We're crying because there's a Spurs fan in here. Where's that New York dog at? Quit that soft shit. We're New Yorkers. Let's go. Jesus Christ, quit the whining. Jesus Christmas. You let one person named Holly ruin your night? Christ! Oh, now they're all coming yeah, in. Yeah, now you want to do yeah, it. Yeah, now yeah, you want to yeah. do it. Fucking crying because we got a Spurs fan in the chat. Mad at me because the Knicks are losing and I'm mad they're losing. What kind of sideways shit is that? God damn it. Go get yourself a bacon, egg, and cheese and wake the fuck up. <laughs> Let's go. You should be embarrassed of yourselves. Drop your nuts! Back to hoops. Knicks we'll down by one. Chance, we'll get to Super Vassell, three. Good. It ain't a comeback till you take the lead. It ain't a comeback till you take the lead. Brunson will bring it up. He'll play catch with Hartenstein. He's guarded by Jones. He's already at 50. He'll pull up. Oh, he freezes Collins. Gets into the lane. And one, Jalen Brunson. Get those JBs in the chat and quit crying at the Spurs fans. Nah, fuck that. Fuck that. MVP. South Holland, they need one bad. Give them an orange soda, too. Christ. Is this career high? I think it's got to be close. 52? It's got to be close to his career high. Brunson at the line, looking to make it a one-point game, and he does. 110-109, six minutes to go. Vassell off the screen. He'll pull up from 18. Good. He is cooking you. He is cooking you. Someone take the responsibility and guard him. Brunson gets the screen. He's got Jones on his back, trying to get into the lane. And now they'll space it out. Runs it up top. Gets a screen from Hartenstein. He'll get into the lane. Drop off to iHeart. He kicks it out. And now Josh Hart drives. And he's overpassing. Shoot the ball, Josh! Jesus Christ! He passed up a dunk like Ben Simmons. And now he's passing out of layups. I think that's what Tim just told him. Runs into Hartenstein. Hunts Hartenstein back to Brunson. And oh, Hartenstein turns it over. The podcast boys from this Thursday are playing like shit. Josh Hart, not ready to play today. Hartenstein, not ready to play today. Come on, that's why you're losing to the fucking Spurs. Or should I tell them, great for trying. Great for trying. Is that what you guys want? Go find another channel, because I ain't doing that. Steven Chenzo just got hey, elbowed in the hey, face. They called it. Nick's ball going the other way. Three-point game. Oh, this shit is lagging like a hoe. Knicks down by three. 
5.25 to go. I need Deuce to be like, I'm guarding Vassell. How about that? As they're going to go to the replay monitor now, and I'm not sure if it got challenged. Well, they're out of timeout, so they can't challenge. Or did they, ha did they call the timeout, and now they are challenging it? I mean, he got hit in the face. That's a foul. You cannot rip through and create contact with your elbow to somebody's face. If anything, that's a flagrant. That's a flagrant. Yeah, that's what they're looking at. Can someone tell us if it is a they're challenging a flagrant or they're challenging the foul? Um, we missed it. We missed that. Definitely if it's a flagrant. Well, we are at a review here. Make sure you guys are hooked up with our proud sponsor, Prize Picks, the number one daily fantasy sports app in the game. It's prizepicks.com slash CLNS, promo code CLNS. We'll match your first deposit up to $100. All you do is create a lineup of two to six players. They call it a common foul? Common foul. All you do is create a lineup of two to six players, and you choose more or less on their projected stat line. It's prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Promo code CLNS. Pick more, pick less, play prize picks. Um, Pop says gambling is evil. Prize picks is not gambling. It's fantasy sports. But if you support the show, you should support the sponsor. We got 1,300 people watching. Can we, how many subscribers can we pick up right now? I know there's people that are watching that are not subscribed. Can we get to 36,700 subscribers right now? If you want the Knicks to win, give me a me in the chat. Give me a me in the chat if you want the Knicks to win. As, Dude, as pop Greg Popovich it. just motherfucked the ref and he got teed up. His old ass may pass out. Did he not get teed up? Dude, I don't know how he didn't. He was in that dude's ear. They didn't tee him up. He just motherfucked him. Brunson off the screen. He's doubled. Gets it to a cutting eye heart who spins and he's fouled. He'll go to the line for two and now Hartenstein's down and he's hurt. Holding his wrist. Hartenstein has broke his wrist, I think. Please fucking be okay. Please fucking be okay. Please be okay. He's in serious pain. Now he's shaking it off. He's making a fist. He's moving his hand. I think he's good. I think he's okay, but that did not look good. That might be a severely sprained wrist. Oh, he caught his fall with that right hand. That's... And he also, like, he put his body weight on it after. Oh. So he gets fouled by Osman. He, Osman pulls him down out of midair. Oh, my God, dude. His, his wrist bent bad there. I hope oh. he's all right. That was a his nasty whole, fall. And his whole body weight came on top of it, just flattened it. It, it. it looks like he's staying in the game, though. How did Pop knock... They're going to call that a flagrant foul on San Antonio, saying that Osman grabbed and yanked Hartenstein as he was in midair. So that's going to be and two shots, I believe, for the Knicks and the ball. And I think Pop on the play before when DiVincenzo's got uh, clocked, he kind of reached in and followed him, and I think that's what he was so pissed about. He's like he was creating space to get him off. I don't understand how he didn't get teched up. I, dude, he looked at the ref and MF'd him in no, the face. And also you... He was doing that for like 20 seconds straight before that. All right, here we go. Two free shots coming for Hartenstein. He'll go to the line for two, and the Knicks will keep possession. We need both these, I heart. Come on, big dog. He fucking smoked it. He fucking smoked it. Missed it. Missed the first. I haven't seen Pop this fired up in a while. Missed the first. Second free throw. Gets it to go. All right. So it's a two-point game. Knicks have the ball with five minutes and 13 seconds to go. Brian says, us real Yankees appreciate your style. Bro, there was way too much crying in this chat earlier for me being mad at losing to the Spurs. Go, go watch someone else if you're going to get mad that I'm mad that they're losing. That shit's whack. 
Brunson is going to post up Jones. Gets in the lane. Lays it up and he smoked it from one foot. They can't tie it or take the lead. And then Vassell for three in transition. He missed it. Hart doesn't grab the board. It goes to Hartenstein. Oh. Brunson, he'll pull up for three. Missed it. And it's going to be a run out dunk. For oh, Wimby lost it. Deuce beats him to it. Let's go, Deuce. Knicks are pushing. Deuce up ahead to Chenzo. Open three from the corner. God! They took the lead. They took the lead. Fucking finally. First lead of the day. <laughs> Knicks up one with 4.30 to go. You know they want to go to Wemby. And Hartenstein's called for a foul off ball. And they're in the bonus. And they're in the bonus. Two free throws coming for Wemby. Hartenstein's got to be better, man. First time you take the lead, and then you Just give him two free ones. Two free throws coming for Wemby. 1,500 people watching. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. If you are subscribed, give me a me in the comment section. If you're subscribed, give me a me in the comment section. As Wemby makes the first, 113-113. You good, dog? You just oh, kind of froze out. 113-113 here. Wemby, we're going to put him back up by one with 424 to go. His free throw is no good. Rebound by Brunson. Ball don't lie. Give me some BDLs in the chat. As Jalen Brunson, the captain, he's got 50. Trying to put this game away for the Knicks. He's going to walk Jones into the post. He'll spin and fade. Off oh. the glass, up and in. Knicks up by two. Jalen Brunson. 55. The double nickel for Brunson. He's trying to get 60. Jones on the right side. They're going right back to that Wimby post up in the right mid range. He'll face up on Hartenstein. Rip through. He spins. Gets into the lane and one. And one. Or are they calling that a foul on the ground? I think they called it on the ground. For a kid that everyone says is too skinny, he is moving around Hartenstein That's like he's a little boy. They're going to say the foul occurred on the ground. Still two free throws. Death doesn't matter. Two free throws. Two free throws coming up. Wemby's got 29, 15, and 7. First free throw for Wemby, good. Come on, smoke this free throw, Wemby. Smoke this free throw. 115, 114, 350 to go. Wemby at the line. He made the first, he made the second. We're knotted back up at 115. Brunson's got 55. He'll need 60 if the Knicks want to pull this out. Brunson guarded by Trey Jones, all 90 feet. He's being physical with him. Both teams are in the bonus. We got free throws the rest of the way. Brunson's going to back down Jones. Rips through. He's fouled. They don't call it. Rebound by Wemby, and he's out and running. He'll push it all the way. Now face up Hartenstein. In and out dribble. Drive. He loses it. Ball recovered by San Antonio. Now it's on the ground. Get on the ground, dude. Come on, man. Wemby, left wing. Step back. Now kick it to Jones. Five on the shot clock. Jones back out to Wimby. Stole by Hartenstein, but right back to Jones. Kelton Johnson at the buzzer. No good. Rebound by David Genzo. <laughs> Three minutes to go. Three minutes to go. 1,700 people watching. Sub for Knicks. Dubs. Brunson off the screen. Looking to go. Gets into the paint. Pull up. Good. 117-115. Give me those 11s in the chat. Give me some 11s in the chat for JB. Let's go. 57. 57. They're going to go to Wemby. Top of the key. He'll face up and just pull. No good. Rebound by Brunson. Blow this popsicle stand and let's go to work. <laughs> Brunson going to bring it up the right side. I don't want anyone touching the ball the rest of the game. Brunson off the screen for three, for 60. No good. Rebound by Wemby. Rebound by Wemby. He'll bring it up. 
two ten to go. Goes behind the back, gets it to Champagne, who kicks it to Vassell. Vassell drives, got a good look at it, and he lays it up and in. We're tied at 117. Two minutes to go. 117, 117. Knicks have two timeouts. Spurs are out. Brunson has 57. He'll face up Jones here. Size oh him up. God. Blows by him. Floater up. He missed it. Rebound. Hart trying to secure it. And they're going to call a foul. A foul on Kelton Johnson. Hart's going to the line for two after securing a tough offensive bound. They cannot challenge as they are out of timeout. Wow. Josh Hart flies in. I mean, that's a foul. Oh, yeah, he's got he's, he's holding his arm the whole time. Hart, Josh Hart, make these free throws. Hart has been horrible at the foul line. 1,700 people watching as Hart makes oh. the first to touch the rim six times. Can I get an LGK in the chat? We got 1,800 people watching. Can I get 1,800 people to give me an LGK in the chat? Number one place on YouTube to watch the next game live with passionate people that don't cry. Let's go. There we go. Josh Hart gets both to go. Can I get all 1,800 people to give me an LGK in the chat? All 1,800, give me an LGK. Vassell up top. He's been money all day for San Antonio. He'll throw it up to Wimby, and he taps it up and in. 119, 119, we have 90 seconds to go. 90 seconds to go. Brunson will bring it up. Jones guarding him. He's got 57. He'll face him up, size him up. Look at a blow by him. He does. He gets and bumped, one. and he kisses it off the glass. He's got 59. How about a stop here, boys? How about a stop here? Jones. He'll walk it up, and he gets it to Vassell. Deuce guarding him. He's had his way with him. He comes off two screens, gets downhill, and he kicks it out to Wemby for three. No good. Rebound by Dante. Just bring it up yourself, Dante DiVincenzo. Crosses half court, and now give the ball to number 11. He does. Clear out. 59 for Brunson. Nicks up by two. 40 seconds to go. Shut this shit down, JB. In and out dribble. Drive. Step back. No good. Rebound by San Antonio, 35 seconds to go. It's going to need a stop from the Knicks defense for a win. Vassell guarded by Deuce. Get the screen from Wemby. He'll get it to him. DiVincenzo meets him on the catch. Wemby drives. Layup no good, but they called a foul on Hartenstein. They called a foul on Hartenstein. Wemby's going to the line with 24 seconds to go. 24 seconds to go. Wemby will go to the line. Twenty-four seconds to go. Wemby, you ain't clutch. You ain't clutch. What you got, young fella? You ain't clutch. Ball don't lie. He, he's missing one of these. Love the substitution by um, Tibbs here to get Mitchell Robinson in the game for rebounding purposes. Smoke one of these, Wemby. Smoke that pack, Wemby. Free throw up. Good. Ice cold. Ice cold. We got 2,000 people watching. If you want the Knicks to win, give me an L-G-K in the chat. I'm going to call my shot right now. Josh Hart game winning three. Shut your mouth. <laughs> Wemby at the line. Look at it. Tied at 121. Free throw. Good. 121, 121. Timeout. Tom Thibodeau. Here we go. Nobody should touch this ball except for number 11. The lineup that I'm rolling with here is the starters. I'm going Brunson. I'm going Chenzo. I'm going Deuce. I'm going Hart. And I'm... What, do we hate going four shooters around Brunson right here? Just clear it out. Brunson holds for the I, last shot. I, I would have, do you need but, a big in right now? I was going to say just for the offensive rebound. Like if Mitchell Robinson okay. could get a quick putback... Um, so he's got 59 right now, right? Yeah, 59. 
How about 61 for the win? How about 61 for the win, kid? How about 61 for the win? I'm not I'm not letting them get a screen. I am just oh, clearing ISO. out a side. I, that's why I would ISO. I would have Hartenstein at the top of the key inside the three-point line, yeah. and then I have a corner three. I have a corner three, and I'm loading up on the Josh Hart side. I'm letting DiVincenzo be the only guy on the opposite side of the well, action of Brunson. And we've seen it. I think Brunson likes to have a whole side for himself. Yeah. Like, we've seen it a couple plays, like – Get four shooters in the corner. You don't let you don't let the Spurs get the ball back here. No, you don't. Take the last shot. Sub for Nick Stubbs. We got 2,000 people watching. If you're subscribed to the channel, type me right now. Take this shot with about five, six seconds left. Allow yourself a tip in because the Spurs don't have timeouts. Spurs have no timeouts. So you should take this with five or six just to give yourself a chance. You like five or six on the shot? Five or six. Obviously, just who cares about the time? Just get a good shot, but. Here full court we go. San Antonio, they'll apply full court pressure. Jalen Brunson will bring it up. It's 121, 121. He has 59 points. Can he make it 61 and lift the Knicks to a win over San Antonio? I love this. Here we go. He's at midcourt, guarded by Jones. Five on the shot clock. Get to the lane. Step back. Step through. Kick the deuce for three. Smoked it. Rebound oh. by Wimby. We're going to overtime. I thought he was too quick to pick his dribble up. I thought, Br I don't like that possession. I don't like the step back into a picked up dribble. Keep your dribble alive. They can't guard you. Why are we stepping back on Trey Jones? Get downhill. You're in the bonus. Fucking hate that possession by him. I hate that possession. Like, why don't you just go? You have 59. Brunson has broken the record for the most shots made in a single Knicks game. He's taken 42 shots. 24 made baskets. How many shots? 24. Of what? 42. He shot 42 I, times. Dude, it does not feel like that. I was a little shocked. I mean, obviously you got 59. You're going to put up a lot of buckets, but. Of course, Johnson, you have Deuce McBride made that. We're going crazy. <laughs> but once again, process over results. And uh, maybe I'm being unfair to Deuce, and he's played so well. It was, the, it was the right basketball play by Brunson, but. I don't think the step back and picking up the dribble was the right play. I, yeah. I don't. You're guarding by Jones. You oh, like, lit his ass up for he 59. Had the, he had the left side open. You just tax was And right he went hand, to the step back. Little... Wemby came over. How about you step back, but the dribble's alive, put it on the deck one time, and float it up from 15? I hated that possession. I hated that. I do like they didn't give the Spurs a chance, though. I it's do good. like that. Now we got overtime. They're going to make the Spurs play eight more minutes. Hey, Brunson's got 59 right now. Wemby's got 35, 18, and 7. I need a beer shotgun. <laughs> if we get a $50 super chat, I'm doing a beer shotgun. Let's go. I need it. Calm the nerves. If we get a hundo, we racing? Yeah. If we get a $100 super chat, we're beer shotgun racing. 50 and I'll do one. It's got to be before OT starts, though. Got to be before OT starts. I need, I need to calm my nerves. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my Lord. I don't like that last possession, man. No, me either. The pass was right once he picked up his dribble. You got to keep that dribble alive. Got to keep that dribble alive. Dan says, I heart fouled out. Did he? Yeah, he did. Hardenstein fouled out. I didn't notice that. That's on me. I should have let you guys know. Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. Wemby being 10 of 12 from the free throw line is uh, pretty scary. All right, Brunson, let's go get 65 and get a win, huh? How about 70 and OT win? 70, 11, and OT. <laughs> Come on, man. 1,700 people watching. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel as we are underway. Mitchell Robinson wins the tip. Knicks will control. Brunson on the left wing, guarded by Jones. Gets a screen. He doesn't use it. He gets downhill, spins in the lane, keeps on his feet, finds Hart in the corner. Missed it. Hart misses an open three. Here comes San Antonio. 
Jones is bringing it up. Wemby, step back three. No good. Rebound by Hart. They're going to post up Brunson on Jones here. He has the whole left side of the floor to himself. He'll face him up as he's about to step inside the three-point line. Here comes a soft double. Josh Hart has it under the rim. Kicks it to Deuce. Deuce to Devo. Devo for three. No good. Rebound by San Antonio. Rebound by San Antonio. Good D, Deuce. Stolen by Deuce. Stolen by Deuce. Slow it up. See, Brunson, go like quick right now. You're letting them set up too much. I agree. Much. Brunson, guarded by the logo, gets the screen, gets downhill, drives by Wemby into the lane. He's bumped. Don't call it, of course. Robinson battling, but it'll be controlled by San Antonio. 3.50 to go. Jones is bringing it up. He finds Vassell. Vassell's been hot, Wait, and that's going to be a block on Deuce. Oh, I thought that was going to be a charge, man. I think Tim's going to challenge this. And he is. Yeah, that's a charge. That'll, that'll be overturned. Great play by Deuce. You think so? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I mean, he got squared up with him right there. He just ran right into him. And his arm was a little high. Yeah, I think great challenge. Good stuff by Deuce. They will challenge. Why are we in a rock fight with the Spurs? Yeah, that's got to be a charge. I think that's a charge as well. His feet were somewhat still moving, but his body was square, and I thought he was in a, a legal defending position. And then he was connected with by Vassell on kind of a high elbow here. Like, he's in a legal defending position. What, 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 well, he's allowed to that spot just as much as Vassell is. I mean, I don't know how that's not a, how that's not a charge now that I'm getting – Couple more looks at it. We got 1,800 people watching. If you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. We're 282, 282 subs away Go. from 37. They called a block. Oh, come they on. Man. They called a block. They called a block. They called a block. I don't know about that one. A fucking block. How do the San Antonio Spurs shoot? 30 free throws. 30 free throws, and the Knicks have shot 10. <sighs> Lord. San Antonio will throw it in. It's Deuce, it's Brunson, it's Hart, it's Robinson, and DiVincenzo. Wemby will catch it and then hand it off to Jones. They'll run a little two-man game. Jones drives on Brunson, his floater up and in. Knicks down by two. Knicks down by two. Brunson will have to bring it up. Guarded by Jones. In and out dribble to freeze him. Gets it to Hart. Hart back to him. Brunson's going to work on that left baseline. He's doubled to Hart. Hart dribble drive. Throws it up. And Robinson missed the alley-oop. Hart led it a little bit too high. Here comes San Antonio. Knicks down by two. 3.15 to go. They're going to post up Wemby. He's doubled. And then DiVincenzo Ooh. fouled him. they got to stop reaching on Wemby, man. Twenty-one fouls on the Knicks. Check that. Twenty-two fouls on the Knicks. Fourteen on San Antonio. Jones will control. Fourteen on the shot clock. He's going to get to Vassell. Deuce guarding him. He'll use the screen. He's got a lot of space, and he just lays it up and in. Oh my God! He smoked the layup, but Wimby tipped it in over Josh Hart. Knicks down by four. He had plenty of chances to win this game. Plenty of chances. Brunson and Hart, old two-man game. Brunson's got space. He'll take a step back, and then he picks his dribble up again. He keeps killing himself with that move. Now we're just going to post up Brunson on Jones. Five on the shot clock. He'll drive baseline. Now step back. Corner three. No good. Rebound by Robinson. He's fouled. He'll go to the line for two. Robinson, one of the worst free throw shooters in the league, will go to the line as the Knicks are down by four with 230. You know, Samurai's right. We're, we're tired. That's why we're losing. We're tired. What? 
We're tired? That's fucking pathetic. Robinson at the line. First free throw. Go! Oh! Big shot! Big shot! The thing is on a line drive. Every free throw for Mitch Rob. Come on, Mitch. All I could ask for is one, but now I'm begging for two. His free throw is up. In and out. Oh. No good. That was halfway down. Let's go. Stop, score, stop, baby. Three-point game. 2.20 to go. Brunson hasn't scored in OT. He's got 59. Johnson up top, guarded by Hart. Great defense. Into the corner to Jones. Jones drives baseline. Off ball oh, steal oh. by Hart. He intercepted the pass to Wemby. And then he drops it off to Brunson. Brunson's going to drive. He kicks to Hart. Hart to Deuce. Deuce for three. Tapped up and in by Robinson. Oh, they might. They yeah, call they offensive might. interference. Is that reviewable? Was That didn't look like it was above the cylinder. That didn't look like it was above the cylinder. It was. Yeah. Too many mental mistakes. Shot yourself in the foot too many times. Let a bad team hang around, and this is what happens. Six down three, two minutes to go. They're going to go to Vassell and Wemby again. They'll throw it to Johnson in the corner. He drives by Hart. They call it a travel. Next ball going that way. You have to score. Like, how, how they have three points in overtime. One. They just scored one fucking point. It's the Spurs, not the 2004 Pistons. Brunson going to walk it up. They need him to score. He'll get a screen from Deuce. He rejects it. He gets downhill. He's bumped. Lays it up and in. Nick's down by one. 90 seconds to go. 90 seconds to go. Stop. How about a stop here, boys? Brunson's got 61. Jones, 10 seconds on the shot clock. Guarded by Brunson. He's going to get it to Wemby at the top of the key. Guarded by Mitch. Hands it off to Vassell. Deuce on his case. Back to Wemby. Wemby, five on the clock. He'll launch it. Three. Good. How is he so open? How is he so open? What the fuck is Mitch doing, man? 40. 40 and 20. Mixed down by four. Brunson's doubled. He'll drive on Vassell. He'll lay it up. Missed it. Robinson misses the putback. He got the board again. He goes up, but then he got it to go. Strong play by Mitch. Nick's down by two. 55 seconds to go. One stop. Get me one. Jones up top. Gets a screen from Wemby. Brunson fights over it. Back to Wemby. Robinson poked it away. It'll go out of bounds. The Spurs will have 10 to shoot, and it's going to be a timeout, Greg Popovich. Timeout, Greg Popovich. Sub for Knicks, Dubs. If you're subscribed to this channel, give me a me in the chat. I want to know who the real ones are. And that last three deuce fell down. Where was Robinson, though? He, he, was, he got cut kind of in front of his face. But still, you, I mean, you got to get up there. I mean, he's been taking them, shooting them with confidence. If you're not subscribed, you ain't alive. Number one place on YouTube to watch a Knicks game's with tens of thousands of other Knicks fans. So subscribe and turn your notifications on, and let's go. Is there a TV timeout here? 41 seconds to go. The Spurs will have 10 seconds on the shot clock. Man, you got to get stopped here. This is the game. This is the game. That was a big time putback by Mitch, man. Dude, hell yeah, that was. He big was time putback by too. Mitch. 2,100 people watching. Subscribe to the channel. We're back here on Sunday for the game against the Spurs, uh, against the Thunder. So subscribe. Here we go. 41.4 seconds to go. The Spurs will throw it in on the left side with 10 on the shot clock. It's Chenzo, it's Brunson, it's Robinson, Hart, and Deuce. 
It'll be Champagne throwing it in. He gets it to Wemby. Wemby guarded by Mitch. He'll face him up, rip through drives, and he'll fall. And then they're going to call jump ball with 4.2 seconds. They're going to call jump ball with 4.2 seconds. I don't understand how that's not travel. Since when can you fall and your feet slide? That's a travel. That's a travel. There was no contact. Here we go. Robinson and Wemby will jump it. Robinson won the OT tip. He wins it again! I think they're saying he jumped through. Yep. And they're saying he jumped early. He, he didn't let the ball get all the way up. And that resets the shot clock. And that resets sure, yep. the shot clock to 14. Come on, Mitch. Thirty-four seconds to go. Fourteen on the shot clock for San Antonio. Champagne will throw it in. They'll get it to Vassell. Two's guarding him. Now they'll double. And now they'll retreat. McBride guarding him by the logo. Gets a screen from Wemby. Step back three. Vassell. No good. Ball's tapped out. And they're gonna say it's Nick's ball. Let's that go. was not off. The, that was off for off the Knicks. They should throw this in. So if they don't change the call. They don't. They just, yeah, All right. He wanted the review. It's 24-20, excuse me, 128, 126, 17 seconds on the shot clock, uh, the game clock. Shot clock is even. Knicks can hold for the final shot. Brunson's driving. He's fouled. That's got to be on a shot, right? He, he pointed on the ground. And Brunson just says, I can't get a fucking foul. 12.8 seconds to go. Knicks are down by two. That was definitely off Mitch Rob. Mitch got lucky. <laughs> Saw that in live time. That was off Mitch. Wemby knew it too. 12.8 seconds to go. Here we go. Over 2,000 people watching. If you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. Free informative updates every day on your New York Knicks. Sub for Knicks dubs. Can Jalen Brunson hit a three here to win it? Do you go for two or three? I think he I always came say to... on the. I always say on the road you go for three, but the Knicks are also the better team. I wouldn't hate another five minutes. Try to outlast them in overtime, but... Hey, Brunson, you go hit a game-winning three. You get the highest-scoring game in Knicks franchise history. Brunson is two points away from having the all-time scoring game for the Knicks. He's one point away from tying Carmelo Anthony. 2,400 people watching. Sub for Knicks Stubbs. If you are subscribed, type me. Come on. Come on, man. So you're – I think you just get a bucket. If yeah, the three's there, you take it, but you just yeah. get a bucket. Come on, JB. Come on, JB. Come on, man. There's big-time players. Make big time plays and big quick. time ball games. Go quick, JB. Yes. Try to get your look right away. If it's not there, defense will be in rotation. Yep, someone will oh. be open for three. And then you just live or die with that. They're gonna have Brunson throw it in, I like and this. it's Achua in the game. Except it's out uh, for Mitchell Robinson. It's Brunson, Achua, Hart, McBride, and Divincenzo. Brunson looking to get it in. He gets it to Achua. Now he's gonna hand it off to Brunson. Ten on the clock. Knicks down by two. Brunson step back three. No good. Rebound by the Achua. Knicks. Achua to DiVincenzo, and he threw it away. He threw it away. Achua got the offensive rebound. He threw it away. Moment was too big for him. Spurs got a timeout. Moment was too big for Presh to Achua. Moment was too big for Presh to Achua. He also had the opportunity to go straight up there. That's what you do when you fuck around with the work. That's what happens when you mess around with a bad team. You lose. Very similar to the Houston Rockets game. Knicks didn't take him serious from the jump, and you're going to lose to a team that has 17 wins on the season. Terrible shot by Jalen Brunson. That was some hero ball ass shit. I don't give a fuck that you had 61 points. Get downhill. Get downhill. I don't give a fuck. That was terrible possession. Terrible possession in the fourth quarter. Terrible possession to end overtime.
Knicks don't deserve to win. It's over. It's over. Precious Achua just pissed down his leg. He just pissed down his leg after he got that rebound, dude. My man Precious got the offensive board and pissed down his leg. And the Knicks will not even foul. They foul with 1.3 seconds. It doesn't matter. It's over. It's over. Knicks don't even have a timeout. Oh, they got to foul him again. This one's over. Runs and fouls with 1.1 second left. Motherfucker scored 60 and he lost. Second, first free throw good. Nick's down by three. He makes this one, it's over. Even if he misses it, you don't have a timeout. You'll have to shoot it from 85 feet. Free throw, good. So Knicks loses first. Knicks loses for Spurs. That's it. Knicks loses 17 wins Spurs. Victor Wembenyama dominates. Knicks didn't deserve to win. It's a terrible loss. It's a terrible, terrible loss. That's bad. That's bad. <laughs> we can just talk about the game and the post game. Well, I don't even want to do that. Yeah. That's it's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. Sixty one points and you fucking lose. You fucking lose. All right, let's talk about it. Just five takes on it. The New York Knicks did not come to play on Friday night against the San Antonio Spurs. They fall down early in the first quarter, seven to nothing, and they could never, ever catch up. They took the lead for a second in the fourth quarter, but they gave it right back. They went to overtime. I thought that Jalen Brunson was electric, and it's not a thought. He was. The guy had 61 points. He did everything he possibly could to win this game. One of the best performances of all time by a New York Knick, and his teammates let him down. You get 61 points from your point guard, and he had, I think, 40 in the second half, and you lose, and you lose. Um, this is the worst loss of the season, in my opinion. The San Antonio Spurs had 17 wins coming into today. But it's not just the loss that makes this the worst loss of the season. It comes down to the fact that the New York Knicks entered the day one and a half games back of the two seed. You were gifted an automatic win against the San Antonio Spurs. Vegas had you favored by nine points. Some books had them at ten points. You had a free win. You had a free win on your plate to cut it to a game back. 
of the Milwaukee Bucks. And you still get to play them. And you don't show up in the first quarter. You weren't ready to play. It's, it's all about how the Knicks started. First possession of the game, they allow an open three. Josh Hart then inbounds after that, and he throws it into the San Antonio Spurs bench. Then you allow another easy bucket for them, and then Isaiah Hartenstein is called for a foul. They get another bucket. It's 7 to nothing. Hartenstein picks up his second foul three minutes in, and you could never recover. You could never recover. You were playing catch-up all day. It was fake comeback after fake comeback after fake comeback, and you waste an all-time performance by a New York Knicks. I say that all that to say the last possession of the fourth quarter was terrible by the Knicks. Nobody else should have shot that ball except for Jalen Brunson. I know it's pretty weightless and baseless to, to try to criticize that, but that's my job, and I'm going to analyze the game. Deuce McBride did not have it tonight, and I understand he had an open shot, and he's earned that shot. He's made a lot of big ones for the Knicks. Um, he didn't have it tonight from the jump. Uh, he, he, he should never have been in the spot to take that shot. It should have been Jalen Brunson. He took a step back into a picked-up dribble, and of course they blitzed him, and he had to pass it. If he kept the dribble alive, he could have kept something going. And then I hate the shot when you're down two with 10 seconds left in the game. You take a step-back contested three. That's easy to nitpick at this point. The guy had 61 points. But that's what superstars are expected to do. Superstars are expected to win games like that. He did everything he could. He really only had two bad possessions. And even the fourth quarter one is probably a stretch saying it was a bad possession because he got it to a wide open shooter for the three. But the last possession of overtime was a joke. You're down two. Why are we taking a step back three? The next foul, you're at the free throw line. You, I don't know. I didn't like that. But Jalen Brunson is not why you lost. Um, you lost because you fucked around. You played with your food for the whole first quarter. You gave up 130 points to the San Antonio Spurs. You gave up You gave up 121 points in regulation to a team that has 17 wins. And on top of that, Victor Wembenyama, um, he made Mitchell Robinson look like a little boy. He made Isaiah Hardenstein look like a boy, a little boy. Um, there's a reason that I believe he is the most talented and the highest ceiling player in the league. Um, I think he's going to be the face of this league for a long time, and he showed you why tonight. He was unstoppable. Nobody could stop him. Um, very disappointing. Very, very disappointing loss. Um, I think it's the worst loss of the season. You had a chance to cut it to a game of the two seed. And you lost. And you lost against the San Antonio Spurs team that didn't want to win. <sighs> That's brutal. It's a brutal loss, man. Um, Devin Bissell had a great game, too. Um, Seemed to, he, he gets that mid-range jumper off that screen from Wemby at any time. Deuce had trouble guarding him. It's tough. What's your biggest takeaway from the loss? Um, what's your biggest takeaway from the loss? I want to hear from you guys in the comment section. For me, is uh, the Knicks fumbled a great opportunity. They didn't come ready to play. They took their opponent lightly, and they smacked you in the face, and you never responded. Um, you weren't ready to play. That's that's my takeaway on that. We'll talk more about the game around the corner, but first I got to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Prize Picks. It's PrizePicks.com/clns, and they'll you use that promo code CLNS, and um, they'll match your first deposit up to one hundred dollars. It's the best daily fantasy sports app. In the game, put 100 bucks in your account. We'll match it if you use promo code CLNS. All you do is create a lineup of two to six players, and you simply choose more or less on their projected stat. Now's the time to play as the NBA season is heating up. Playoffs are around the corner, and the action in March Madness is ongoing. Check them out. They have new deals for new and returning users all the time. It's my favorite way to play daily fantasy, and I need you guys to support the show. So support the show. Support the sponsor. We appreciate it. Man, um, from the get-go, the Knicks just, they didn't, they weren't locked in, man. And I don't need to see Boyan Bogdanovich play another minute for the New York Knicks. I don't. He's 2-7, 0-3 oh, from downtown. He can't shoot anymore. He's the worst defender in the NBA. In every single game, he has a turnover where you're like, bro, what are you doing? Two more turnovers tonight, no assists. 
So a negative assist to turnover ratio. He's here to make shots. He doesn't make shots. And he is a traffic cone on defense. Boyan Bogdanovich, I hope they leave you in San Antonio, and I hope you never play again for the New York Knicks. It's terrible. Shake Milton played in the first half. Um, he didn't play in the second half. Um, I don't know what that was all about. No Alec Burks. I guess the Knicks were trying to manage minutes a little bit, but I don't know. I don't know how you don't come out motivated to win this game. Um, you got OKC on Sunday. They're gonna rip. They're gonna try to rip your teeth out and get that win. Like the schedule after OKC is tough. Um, and you got Miami. That ain't ever easy. Sacramento, you just beat them. They're gonna come in motivated. And you got Chicago three times in six days. You know how hard it is to beat someone three times in a row in six games. In eleven days, you play them three times. Milwaukee's not gonna be easy. Boston ain't gonna be easy. And you got Brooklyn, second game, in, last game of the season. Today was a must-win game if you had real thoughts and hopes of getting to the two-seed. Crush the Chua, dude. Minus 30. A minus 30 in 15 minutes. And he grabs the offensive rebound after Jalen Brunson takes a terrible shot to close overtime, and he pisses down his leg after and throws it away. Moment was too big for him. Um, that's a gut punch loss, man. Um, DiVincenzo. I thought he had a good game. Um, I don't know, man. You, you allow them to shoot 53.7% from the field and 40% from three. Somehow the Spurs shot 32 free throws and the Knicks shot 12. Because as we know, the Spurs are one of the most physical teams in the league, right? They turn the ball over four more times than you in your league. You out-rebound them. You beat them on the glass on the offensive end. And you lose. The Knicks needed that win, man. They needed that win. What's concerning for me is you were playing against a team that has no experience in winning. And you have Jalen Brunson, and Dante DiVincenzo, and Josh Hart, all on the floor. And they beat you in overtime, and they looked more poised than you did. I don't want to read into it too much, but they never looked sped up. They never looked out of control. They ran their two-man game, and they got every look they wanted. At the end of the day, it is just one loss, but... I don't know. I don't know. Not ideal. Not ideal. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Have your notifications turned on. We will be back on the channel Sunday live. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll be watching that game and hoping they can beat the Thunder as the Knicks, every game now, is going to determine your seed in the playoffs moving forward as there's nine games left in the season, eight games left. Bad loss. Really, really bad loss. They didn't deserve the win. They played with their food. They gave a bad team confidence, and, and they beat you. It's terrible. It's terrible. That's a bad loss, man. You get 81 points from your backcourt, and you lose. Played with your food from the jump. Josh Hart, first inbound of the game for the Knicks. 
Throws it in the stands. You allow a wide open three on the first possession. Hartenstein, your next offensive possession, called for an offensive foul. Then you allow another layup. And then Hartenstein gets called for another foul. He's out of the game. That's tough. Better come to play Sunday. Um, so Cleveland won, which means 45 and 29. They are 45 and 29? I think the Knicks are now 44 and 29. They, that means they would have jumped us. By a half game. By a half game. So you're back in the four seed. Back in the four seed. I don't really have much more. I really don't have much more. The Knicks now are two games back of Milwaukee. They are a half game back of Cleveland. And they are two games up on Orlando. Was Jalen Brunson too passive in overtime? He, I don't know, probably have to go back and watch, but I, I believe we started. Quentin Gilliam came in with a five, saying if we can't beat that from Spurs, we can't win a ship. I think we got to that, Quentin. Yeah. Terrence Myers came with a ten, saying JB, MVP, JB, MVP. Daria saying JB. Gregory Rowan said, why isn't Achua shooting the ball? Gotcha. You had me confused with the double negative there, brother. So an OT first possession. Josh Hart misses a 22-foot three. DiVincenzo throws up a bank shot as the shot clock expires. Brunson misses a two. Deuce gets called for the block. Josh Hart throws an alley-oop to Mitchell Robinson and misses. Brunson misses a 23-foot step. Uh, Robinson called for an offensive goaltending. Brunson makes an eight-foot two-point shot. Brunson misses a two-point shot. Robinson offensive tip rebound. Mitchell Robinson misses a tip shot. Mitchell Robinson offensive rebound. Mitch Robinson makes the two-point shot. A jump ball violation. The cell. I mean, I don't know. It just is what it is. It is what it is. You fucking lost. All righty, we're going to sign off on today's show. Shout out to you guys for tuning in. What is a jump ball violation? It's when you tap the jump, the ball, before it meets its highest point or while it's on its way up. You didn't lose this game because the refs, guys. Please stop saying that. Please embarrassing yourself. Exactly, they were tired. They were tired, exactly, Bronx boy. That's why they lost. Exactly. Jimmy from Seattle coming with a five dollar super says, Can we relax? Yeah, it sucks to lose the Spurs, but now the team knows they need to show up.
So if they would have won, they wouldn't have known they needed to show up first OKC? I don't really understand that line of thinking. I don't really understand that, Jimmy. I appreciate the support. Um, I wish I could just... I wish I could just understand your line of thinking a little bit more here. They're crying like we're in the play-in. Um, no, but you had an opportunity to cut it to a half game in the two C with a game coming up against Milwaukee. This was the easiest game left on the schedule. Maybe if you want to argue. The Nets. I don't know. I don't really know. Um, I don't think anyone is saying the Knicks season is over, but I think it's just it's just frustrating that you don't you don't you sh you didn't show up. You didn't show up until the second half. Keep it. They started the fourth quarter down one. It got up to thirteen. I wish I would have said that in the I mean, post game. The fuck was Tibbs doing with that lineup he ran out there? Why did Bogey play in the start of the fourth? What if, I mean, Why did Brunson not come in until eight and a half minutes? Put the game away! So it comes back to here. You were down 15 to 29. Jay Liv, they have 18 wins, brother. They have 18 wins. The Knicks were favored by 10. I think you're giving them a little too much credit, and I think you're giving our team a little bit of a pass. But Jimmy, I hope I gave you a good answer. Um, I'm not trying to be confrontational or argue with you. I'm just trying to understand your thought. I just disagree. I hope, I hope that you're... Um, you're not upset with, with my thoughts. If you are, I apologize that you feel that way. Eric Trump, the ten dollars super chat. Shout out to him. Says good show from Brunson Burner. Good show from the Fire Marshal. Everyone get home safe. Next game we get a dub. I'm also upset that um, I'm also upset we didn't get to win for Eric Trump. I'm upset we didn't get the win for Eric Trump. The game I go to this year, the Knicks lose. The game Eric Trump goes to, they lose. Yeah, no, I'm not saying we're arguing. I just didn't know if you took it as if I was trying to. Um, do that. I appreciate you, bro. My man Daniel Rodriguez says, Yo, Marsh, or but Marshall, why does Wemba have to go, go, have go, go gadget arms? He's seven foot four. Uh, yeah, he's seven foot four. He's ridiculous. Uh, anyone that tells you he's not, if you do a fantasy draft, he's not pick one, one, they, they haven't watched hoops this year. Dude said 40 and 20 versus arguably the best center rotation in the league. 20 from Shaq. Um, I feel you, Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy, I'd rather, I wouldn't rather lose and then beat. I'd rather beat the team we're supposed to beat and then see how we stack up against the Thunder. But, hey, you beat the Thunder, you're right back to it. Right back to it. If the Knicks show up from the start, they would have won? Absolutely, Jay Liv. If they came out the way that they did against Toronto, no games played, um, they cook them. They cook them. You let them get confidence, Seeps. They were just yeah. so relaxed because they had nothing to play for. Yeah. Idiot. Plus Devin, I mean, you let Vassell get a Vassell's couple of Vassell's a great looks. player, man. Yeah. He's a great player. Deuce couldn't guard him. He's, he's a little taller than Devin Booker, dude. All righty. We're going to sign off, boys. Uh, shout out to everybody that tuned in. Shout out to everybody that showed love. <clears throat> They live. They got to get a lot more players if they're going to go to the playoffs. They gotta, but I do like I do like I do like Vassell and I obviously like Wimby. Um, they are building something, that's for sure. But it's a Knicks time now, not their time now. Even five years, it'll be their time. This was an inexcusable loss. I think Charlie says there's no reason Boyan should see the floor. Agreed.
All right, we'll see you all later. Go Knicks.